Ahem, ahem. Ooh, game a little loud. Hold on. Hello, a goblin. What's going on? Let me, uh, audio mix a little bit. Ooh, yeah. Good enough, maybe. <laughs> I can live with it. It'll be fine. <laughs> All right, so yeah. Um, I have, <clears throat> jeez, been playing a lot of Sekiro and a lot of Mario Rabbids, and I apologize that I've been playing so much. Of uh, both of those, uh, that's been, like, most of what I've streamed in the last, like, three-ish weeks, probably. Uh, but, oh, oh well. Um, I'm, I'm playing it again. <laughs> so, the, the plan right now is Mario Rabbids this stream, Sekiro again next stream. And then West of Loathing, I, I will start it. I will see if I think it's a good game for streaming. But, I mean, this isn't particularly necessarily a good game for streaming, yet I am streaming it. So, I'll probably end up finishing West of Loathing on stream unless I don't like it. Uh, and then back to either back to this game. Either back to this game or back to Sekiro again. Sekiro and this game probably only have two streams left each. Um, yo, what's going on, Pete? How's it going? I before you accepting gaming. It's going pretty good for me. Um, so, yeah. I am very, I'm actually very sad Sekiro is going to come to a close relatively soon. Um, because, wow, I'm enjoying it so much. <laughs> and, and it's sad because it's, I'm sure Dark Souls and, uh, the, you know, 1 through 3 and Elden Ring and all of those are, are good games too. But none of them are going to be like Sekiro, because Sekiro's the outlier in all the Soulsborne games. Uh, and I really enjoy the parry system. I, like, it feels so good, and I'm sure Dark Souls is really fun in its own way. But it's not Sekiro. I, I really wish there was more Sekiro, but there isn't. Um, and that's very sad. Because, it, it, you know, who even knows if they'll, they'll try and do, like, a Sekiro 2 or something like that. Uh, I don't know. But anyways... Mario Rabbids Gaming. Let me take a sip of water. I'm a little lightheaded. Mm. I had pizza, too. Um, I had... I had... <laughs> crappy frozen pizza. DiGiorno. I, let me tell you something about DiGiorno. Um... I don't know if I've ever had... You know, they're, they're stupid... A slogan, you know, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. Shut the fuck up. Of course it's not delivery. Yeah, I mean, it, they are absolutely right. It is, it is in fact DiGiorno, but it, you know, uh, I, I know that it's not delivery. I can tell that it's not delivery. It does not taste like delivery. It, it, you know, their, their slogan is an insult to uh, a Little Caesars even. Um, but I mean, whatever. I, I mean, I, I eat it, so. Um, usually it's like emergency lunch. Maybe not emergency is a, is a, uh, exaggeration, but I don't like Totino's pizza, frozen pizza. I've tried it a few times. It has a taste. It has some taste to it I don't like. The, the crust is like too flaky. It just, it, there's something about how, how it tastes that it's just like, you know, um, but it's, it's not the worst thing I've ever put in my mouth. You know, I can, I can live with it. Let me, oh, OBS lagging a little bit for me. It'll be fine. Um, I did also have someone's leftover, like, pizza from a local pizza place, I think. At least as far as I know, it's not a chain. Um, and it was okay. It tasted kind of like lasagna if it was like a pizza. And I don't, and I don't know if that makes sense. I wasn't really feeling it that much, though. It, it was okay. It was still better than DiGiorno by like a lot, but I, you know, it was, it was not what I was uh, hoping for. We're approaching Terraflot. Oh my god, look at Luigi. Uh, he looks weirder on my screen, actually, than he does, I think, on, on stream. Never mind. I think it's just because my screen's, like, brightness is uh, up way too much. Terraflora, that place looks pretty. 
Surely, Jeannie, even you can spoil my enthusiasm mm. for this. Uh, everyone's <laughs> favorite dialogue uh, between Beepo and Jeannie, dude. I believe I can. Curse's stronghold is Everyone now absolutely loves instrument. this game for its dialogue. It's Curse what everyone plays for. The, the plot of is incredibly intriguing, and I think it's, uh, you, you know, actually the highlight of the game. Even if we do find enough purified darkness energy to reach it. Edge, you. you <laughs> Edge. I always forget their name is fucking Edge. How's that? You know Bedrock. You know Edge. Me. There is something you are choosing not to tell us, isn't there? Um, you know, I mean, I, I understand this What's is that? a E for everyone game, but wow. You know, they, they really don't, um... I, like, I can't tell if, if this quote-unquote plot twist that they're working up, you know, to... What's going on, Bochi? Is supposed to actually be surprising God, for children? Because I think even, like, parents. children can put this it together pretty like easy. To or or person, if they're just playing okay. it up for the sake of, like, the game, you know? Never get over the rabbit saying anything but blah. Yeah, no, uh, they, they get actual voices... Which you you do know, I suppose, from last time. Uh, and yeah. Oh, yo, look at plant girl. <laughs> not Rosalina, by the way. Definitely not Rosalina. Wow, what in th oh my god, it's loud. <laughs> Down. Oh hell no, they they just died, dude. Never mind. They they can't have an on screen death, they won't allow it. De definitely still not Rosalina, by the way. Man, why? That never. They oh, never mind. They died again. They deserve to be crushed. I, you know, I'm not. I don't look at them and I'm not like, oh, it's so cute, you know. But like, they're acceptable. Wow. That was that was intense graphic violence. Oh my god, they're they're corpse. Oh just kidding. They're they're totally fine. Wow, lots of uh, horns in this in the soundtrack, huh? Crazy. Alright, well I'm glad that we got that really important plot out of the way. What would we have done uh without it? Oh my god, I do actually like how this place looks. It, uh, neat. Very evil soundtrack. Yo, Bigelow Train kind of goes hard, though. Oh, I missed it. You know, if nothing else... Um, which, I mean, there are other things. I think the gameplay of this game is very good. This game does look, like, very nice. You know, obviously it's stylized, uh, a lot. Not hyper-realistic, but it looks very pretty. I like it quite a bit. Foliage is suffering. What, you saw Bound in Wonderworld? I, I almost want to play that just because I know it's so garbage. You know, kind of like in a Sonic 06 way, except I think Sonic 06 would be a lot more fun than Balan Wonder World. You always want to say Balan Wonderland, because, like, you know, Balan Wonder Land. But no, Balan Wonder World. What, you know, what the fuck is that? Wonder World? Wonderland? Uh, wonder, I mean, uh, Wonderland is an actual thing that people say. No one says Wonderworld. I don't know if that's the point, that it's grander than a Wonderland. But it rhymes. It would have been, well, a pseudo-rhymes. Would have been much better. Her name is Jean. 
Yeah, what's going on? I have not been reading this dialogue, but I can't imagine it's anything that important. We 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 come to somewhere new, and then they're like, oh, fuck you, and we're like, ah, they usually don't actually say, oh, fuck you. They they're usually like, oh, hey guys. But you know, I the, I can't imagine the plot is is taking me for any twists and turns and absolute laughs that I just I uh, cannot live without. I could, I could just like skip it all, but you know that that's that's not very spirited of me. I feel like. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys are reading this if you want to, because uh, you know, <laughs> uh, maybe I'll read other stuff aloud soon. Yeah, I see, I see it. Mm hmm. Right, all right, good stuff. I, I'm getting the gist. However, uh, yep. Thank you, Mr. Sullivan. Uh -huh. We will visit the Everbloom yep, tree. Yep, th thanks, Jeannie. All right, let's let's go. There was um, I so before in previous streams, I did pretty much all of the content that I could before I I went to the next world. I did not totally do that for this stream. I I missed a few things in the last world. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be too, uh, uh, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. I missed a couple sparks and maybe I'm, like, a, a level behind what I would have been otherwise or something. Um, the sparks usually aren't too game-changing anyways. They got some shit. That was a loud-ass fart reverb, dude. Why'd I do this? I don't even want to fight this guy. I mean, I just leave, but I'm sure there's some character that's like, kill all of these guys for me, so maybe we should just do it anyways. It may be a fantastic, beautifully told story. I can't wait for a plot twist, and then, uh, you know, this game, it, it will bring me to tears. Uh, five. Oh, hell no, nah. Windows, what was that for? I'm sorry, I meant to go back and do it, I forgot. I did some this morning, uh, but before, before stream. But it's fine. Maybe I can catch up on all of it before before the finale stream to make it up. I've, oh, yeah, the gimmick with these guys is you have to fucking throw them off to, to, to kill them. You know, I hate to see it. Uh, well, if I just, like, wait for them, I think that would be a cool idea. Fantastically written dialogue. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'm putting my stock in fantastically written. Um, what, what if I just wait again? Will you guys not approach? Oh, no, there they go. You know, maybe maybe Rabid Rosalina's dialogue actually actually is worth something. Maybe it will bring me to tears. Um, I'll be absolutely flabbergasted. It'll really say something about, like... Uh, I don't know. It's a metaphor for, for mental illness, and it's Earthbound-inspired, maybe. <laughs> Long live the king. Yeah, poor guys. It had to be done. I mean, look at their asses. Modern-day Shakespeare. Uh, Earthbound is actually something uh, that I should play on stream eventually. Earthbound and or Mother 3. Uh, I kind of know the plots of those games. It's, like, sort of spoiled for me already. But, like, uh, you know, they're such influential games uh, that, really, I should I should give them a look when I can, I feel like. Fowl attraction. Is this going to have, like, birds in it? No, if it did, if it was a bird pun, then it would have been spelled birdie, probably. Like, you know, F-O-W-L, but it's not. Lame, I can't believe this shit. Mm. You just know nothing about them? I think a lot of people just think that the dialogue is, like, pretty, you know, funny, quirky. Um, and I do think a lot of people, you know, like the gameplay too, but I think more more so than the gameplay, it's, like, the the funny haha -ha, uh, dialogue and stuff. And I, I think that they do have stories that resonate with a lot of people, you know, that it's like, boo-hoo, sad, wah, you know, uh, that too. 
but it, they if they had those stories without the quirky dialogue they probably would not have um you know been been as noteworthy so it's a combination God, I gotta defeat all these guys. That's, I mean, there's nine of them. That's annoying. Okay, what were these water barrels for exactly? I don't understand. Here we go! Can I, like, I just, what, what do you want from me? Oh, they blow up with water. Okay, I got you, I understand. Um, well, that's, that's chill and all. What it, so what happens if I if I explode this and also hit you? Do you do you blow away after I'm done, or do I get hit in this blast? What what happens? Oh, I get hit in the blast. I think I oopsie poopsie. All right, that's fine. I got hit a little bit, but we're balling, dude. His ass is uh uh d damaged. So true, Adam. Hell yeah. Love the way I describe it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm known to be great at describing things. Come on. Ka chow. Uh, I got rabbit peach on me. Why did I come into this with a specific cast characters? They're kind of lame. I mean, rabbit peach is a certified hood classic staple. Uh, it's fine. We'll get it. Also, the, oh, these guys do have birds on their arms. Maybe foul, it, wa it was a bird pun after all. Although those are, I think, rubber chickens instead of, you know, actual chickens, which is a little, a little lame. I think it'd be funnier if they just had actual chickens, but then, like, maybe the ESRB would be like, nope, that's animal abuse, can't do that. You know, I, I wouldn't know. They might. They might not like it. Oh, yeah, ooze them up, dude. Get oozed on. Get absolutely oozed on, dude. What an idiot. Uh, can I blow you off the ledge? Just like, you know, you're like... No, almost. Okay, that's fine. They almost got blah, 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 but uh, not, not quite. I could do, I mean, you know, a lot of damage to you. I could maybe blow you off the edge if I really tried. You know, why not? What do I have to lose? They're fowls dressed up as chickens. Come on. Get, get over there. Come on, lame. Lame. All right. No more Mr. Nice Guy. Um, Who should I kill? Maybe I should, maybe I should make my way up here, actually. Ka-chow. Point blank, dude. Finally. Crazy. Um, I could on Nui, but that only gets, like, one guy, and he's not even a strong guy, so I'll just, I'll just defend against some epic ball and damage, I guess. Alright, sounds good. Rabbit Peach is just chilling over there. Like a villain, maybe even. <laughs> Yippee! I actually, I don't even think I needed to do the defend thing I just did. Because I, I'm just. Ba ball, ball, you know? Oh, never mind. I, fuck, I forgot. Um, I can't ba ball, ball. I, I already used my attack. That's fine. Don't even worry about it. Those two big guys are gonna be really annoying to deal with, actually. But I'll I'll live. I'll figure it out. Whoa, hell no! Whoa. Oh hell no! I got I got I got I attract. Ah oh, shit! Am I gonna die? Yeah, Rabbit Peach dead, dude. That's rough. I didn't know they could do that. I could have figured out that they could do that. To be fair, but I, I no one told me. Like straight up, I you know like a like I'm four years old. I can't believe this. This is unfair treatment. Okay, well we're down a member, I guess. That's that's fine. It's chill. Uh, e I can get this guy. This ain't looking good. It'll be fine. Uh, we just we just gotta play it a little safe. 
Can these guys go up the pipe right now? Are they... Are they... Within pipe distance? Okay, they are totally within pipe distance. That is inoptimal, actually. Uh... <clears throat> that's fine. Uh, yeah. If you could get out of the way here, and then... I go, ka-chow, you're dead. Fallen. Yo, what's going on, Kelly? The stream is all right so far. We're just, you know, doing what we do. Totally smacking the shit out of these guys. You know, we're flawless. We haven't even gotten hurt yet. It's crazy, actually. Um, I can clickbait Rabid Peach's death. Yeah, a very sad, emotional moment in Rabbit Mario history. Uh, actual travesty. Okay, so good news. I'm gonna come down here. Uh, oh my god, are you almost dead? What, what hit you so hard that you are, like, um, an inch away from death? I don't know. That's fine. I think I can just kill them all right here. Hold on. Just group them all up have my boy, my boy Rabbit Mario fucking shit on them so hard. This one guy actually might survive, uh, if I'm not careful. Oh, B! B jump scare, holy shit. Frightened for my life. Yeah, you get him, Rabbit Mario. You fucking killed them all. Insane. Can't believe Rabbit Peach is fucking dead, dude. <laughs> it's fine. I think she'll be okay. Just barely. Yippee! I love Starbits. Can I, do I be spending on this shit? Wave power needs to be upgraded to access. Oh my god! What I'm saying, for real. Yo, look at this cutscene. What a pretty tree. Yeah, this shit looks like Deep Rock Galactic. Who am I? Uh, I'm Adam, and this is Evelyn. Uh, you know, well, uh, I'm, I'm like a talking cat. It's kind of the gist. Eve's like, a, you know, scientist. Uh, she can't talk. To ensure nothing is wasted, must eat Rabbit Beach's corpse? I don't know if it's ethical to eat to eat rabid peaches corpse uh i gotta say or 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 rabbits in general yes, of course. i feel like they are sentient enough see maybe before when they were just saying blah but now they like have short voice lines they're capable of speech so i don't know how i feel about that they're capable of not not just speech but also like grammar because, uh, you know, if it was just speech, like, already, I'd, you know, I don't think I'd feel comfortable eating a sign language gorilla. But, like, maybe, maybe I could live with it, you know. Um, but, like, a sign language gorilla that knows proper grammar and stuff, too. I don't know about that, man. Can pigs learn sign? Like, okay, pigs can't, don't have hands. You know, opposable thumbs. I'm sure they can't learn sign language. They can't do sign language. But can, can they recognize sign language? Like, if they had hands, could they learn sign language? You don't think it's safety? That is also a very good point. Who knows what, what diseases these guys are infested with. Oh my god, it's, it's, look at the bottom left. Oh, B B Benson from Regular Show. The beloved singer who left it all behind to become an organic farmer. Okay. She got her start playing Roxy on the Gachapon Gang. Yep. A show about a teen rock band who turned into giant Gachapons to fight crime. Why are they pronounced, uh, why, why is that SH instead of CH? I'm assuming that's like the machine, you know, like a, a, a Gachapon, you know, like the fucking... The thing where, you know, you, you spin and then it pops out a little ball with, like, goods in it, you know, and there's rarities and whatever. The, why, why, I don't, uh, alright, don't worry about it. Benson Rabbit, I can't wait. You know, 
A lot of people really fucking love regular show. I don't, di I, and I feel, you know, I don't dislike regular show. Regular show is cool. Um, but, like, it was never one of my favorite shows or anything. Like, uh when it came on i would watch it but i was never like oh yeah dude regular shows coming on this is fucking best pigs aren't intelligent en enough to understand sign language you believe i see we're uh, learning a lot today good to know what do i i don't know what to do with this Okay, I thought, I thought ground textures were missing but it turns out we're just high up in the tree and those are clouds down below okay you are a big regular show fan. I... What will this do? Oh, yeah. Look at that ladder. Anything else? I... I I did not detest regular show, like I said. I could... I, I've been missing a lot of these. I, I don't think they're too important. Is that a fucking... Oh, that's just a... Uh, okay, I thought that was a monkey, but that's not a tail. That's just, like... The, the little ropey tether oxygen something line. Critics dare to call it. An artistic mm -hmm. temper tantrum appealing only to pseudo intellectual snobs. Honestly, I loved it. See, the joke is that Beepo is a pseudo intellectual snob. Um, that's the joke, guys. Epic Brian Griffin reference. That's the second time I've talked about Brian Griffin today. That's crazy. Can you believe that? But yeah, no, nothing. I I I liked regular show, but it was not like uh, oh yeah, I I never got hyped for it. I did. Um, I'm trying to think of shows that I actively would like like want to watch and be on the lookout for. I think Adventure Time was up there. Um, uh, I fucking like Chowder. <laughs> I, uh, I I fell down, you know, like the the toy show. Uh, you know, the toy, like, anime pipeline a few times. I, I, I was excited if I could catch a new episode of some shit like, uh, Beyblade or Bakugan. I, I, the thing with those, though, especially Bakugan, is that, like, I, I, I lost the plot, dude. Like, I, I they jumped around too much. They re-aired things in wrong orders. I couldn't follow the fucking plot. I, you know, uh, Julie, I think is her name, is the, the main villain. How does that work? And must mention what is the joke oh don't worry about it Bochi. must mention family guy every stream it's part of the experience i you know i try not every stream i try and stray away but it is it is on my mind like a, a plague of more frequent than i like to admit i mean partially because i you know uh fallen have fallen into the trap of scrolling you know on my phone and whatever for way too long uh and there are in fact those crappy family guy clips that you see uh where you know it's like the subway surfers and family guy and you know i mean i've 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 viewed my fair share it's it's quite a quite sad to say You always struggle following the plot of literally any show on TV because channels re-airing episodes and airing things out of order. Yeah, exactly, yeah. And it's like, I, you know, you'd accidentally see an episode like 15... <laughs> like, you know, you, you the last episode, the most recent one you saw was like 15 episodes ago. And then you you see a new one and then you don't know where the fuck they are. Uh, and it's confusing, uh, you know. I mean, I, I don't think I need to spell it out or anything. You, you get the gist, but... Can I even do this? I because I can't I can't step on that purple shit. I don't think right now. T true. Okay, so this gets rid of that, but then I can't interact with that. I don't think I can do this yet. Alas, I will just f fall. Fall me when I'm the lich from Adventure Time. Me when I'm eating spaghetti. And I ask my friend, uh, and it tastes a little different, so I ask him, I say, this tastes different, did you put anything different into it? And then the clip of Adventure Time with the Lich saying fall plays, and then it causes me to slam my face into the spaghetti and fall off the table. Relatable experience to, for you guys? What am I doing? Do I not have the abilities to like do this yet? 
Oh, I can. I thought I couldn't. I thought the game told me I couldn't do this yet. Well, shit, now I have to go back and do this little puzzle. I, I've seen a lot of things lately, actually, which, I mean, are funny, where it's, um... People ripping on Beyblade for being, you know, ridiculous, because it's Beyblades, and of course everyone knows, like, the... Well, maybe not everyone, but a lot of people know at this point the whole, like, um... You know, Moses split the Red Sea with a Beyblade bit. But also, there was, like, a whole Beyblade training center, and, like, the FBI equivalent uses Beyblades also instead of, like, guns to, to you know, to, like, fight off people and shit. And, uh, you know, it, it, it is, it is intense. So, what, what am I, what am I doing here? I mean, I can send this guy back. That's fine. Uh, oh, okay, hold on. The Beyblade Air Force. I also, I feel like I maybe found it on the wiki at some point. But there is... So, what, can I... Where does this connect to? Clearly not there. But where else would it go? Oh, over on the... On the... This side. Um, uh, but there was a, an arc <laughs> in Beyblade Metal Fusion. Um where it was just like Fortnite. They had like a battle royale, I think. And I don't remember what the winner guy. I it's not important. The important thing though is that they fell from like an airplane, multiple airplanes, I'm pretty sure, and they had to parachute onto an island just like Fortnite. Um and then, you know, they they battle with their Beyblades cuz that's what they do. Why am I doing right now? So I can move this all the way over here for that. That's that's cool. What's up with this, though? Uh, am I stupid? Did I see something before and I was... Uh, oh, it, right, this. Yes, I, I may be stupid. Don't worry about it. And, okay, so I gotta put that back. God fucking damn it. Cannot believe this shit. It's fine. Shoink. All right, you go back down. Ch chungus moment. Yeah, tr true. Um, no, I, I had so many Beyblades, though. I mean, not like a bazillion, but I had a lot. I was really into it. It'd be so cool when I could find one of the... I, I've talked about this before, even on stream, but it'd be, it'd be really cool when I could actually find one of the Beyblades that you would see, like, on the show that was really strong. Because so many of the times you'd go to, like, look for a Beyblade, like, you know, you couldn't, they did not sell the main Beyblade, you know, Pegasus, Storm, uh, uh, or, or, what is it? Was it Storm Pegasus? No, Storm, Storm Pegasus, I think, was the ripoff, okay? I can't remember what the name of the Pegasus was. It was something Pegasus, okay? But the point is that they never sold that one outside of bundles, same with, like, original El Drago, I think. And it they it was a marketing scheme to, to make you buy, like, the $30 Beyblade packs just so that you could get the Beyblade that you actually wanted. And if you wanted the non-ripoff ones, you would have to go, um... Uh, yeah, I mean, and buy them in, in bundles and shit. It was very annoying, actually. Okay, so I got a... Let me... Hold on. You bought a few Bakugan at some point? I did have a lot of Bakugan, and then I, like, lost a lot of my Bakugan. I think because I used to carry them around in, like, a bucket to places. Um, because I just like to have them, you know? It's like, wow, I like to fiddle... You know, I like to, to fiddle with them while... Um, you know, wherever I was dragged to... Uh, you know, like, some clothes store that I didn't care about. You know, to, to bide my time. I like to, to just pop them open and close them back up. It was, it was a fun experience. What am I doing? I, f I forgot. Um, there we go. Gaming. All right. And then what does this shit do? What, what, what is this one? Oh, it creates that wall over there. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then I, but I think I ended up leaving 
that bucket in like some dressing room somewhere. It's actually kind of a travesty. Um, but alas, I mean, what what can you do? You know. I I ended up getting more, but then by the time I got more, it, it was really sad. Actually, I I don't know where else it was if I didn't leave them in some dressing room, some random dressing room. I'm I'm not entirely sure. But very sad. Sad day for us all. Um, I ended up getting more. But then by the time I got more, I wasn't, like, as into them anymore. It was just kind of sad. Um, but yeah, no, Bakugan, Beyblade, I like Pokemon cards. Uh, I had Transformers. I, uh, I had a decent amount of Transformers. The, uh, the Transformers toys? This uh, really is Zapdos. What's going on? The Transformers toys were kind of balling, dude. Because they were, like, little mini puzzles. A lot of the time, like the the more complex ones. Um, yeah, we've been on this puzzle for like, I mean, not forever, but uh, too long. Um, and with with the Transformers toys, the the thing is, is that you would, you know, uh, buy them, you'd transform them, you'd forget, you know, to play with them for like a month, and then you'd go back, and then like, holy shit, I don't remember how to transform this anymore. It was, it was the whole ass, like, puzzle. Like, every 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 month or couple weeks or so. Because you just kept forgetting how to how to transform them. So, like, some of them were really complex, dude. Um, I do not know. I would, I would like to collect the things. Other things. Had no clue. I did not know how to play the game, really, no. I tried learning a few times and playing it properly, but I would, I was always like, eh, I mean, I, I didn't think it was stupid, but I mean, I didn't have anyone to play with a lot of the time. It, it just, you know, I just enjoyed seeing the big numbers on the cards. Um, I get halfway to the top of the tree only to forget uh, what I was going up there for. Wow. Santa delivered a gigantic bag of Transformers toys one Christmas, like, person size. That's insane. Holy shit. I mean, that's ballin'. Oh, my, holy crap. <laughs> that's a lot of Transformers, dude. I, that was a deal with, like, that, that was the cool thing about Beyblade, right? Is that Beyblades, like, you know how to play them. You know, you get to collect them, and then you get to spin them and, you know, do all that stuff. It, it was very obvious how to play Beyblade, of course. But Bakugan, Bakugan was another thing where I just used them like action figures. I, I didn't know. Uh, it, it was very cool dialogue, yes. I'm, I'm glad that, a uh, ground shattering, even. Santa deniers stay losing. Yeah, man. I don't know I, how your parents would have even afforded a, a whole person-sized bag of Transformers. Um, so it must be it must be the work of Santa, I think. Can I not go up here because it's icky? Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, but like Bakugan, especially, I didn't know how to play. Baku, that's the thing with Bakugan. Like it, it was, it was not intuitive. Uh, like, you got cards. Like, oh, Pokemon cards, you get the gist of, like, oh, I can do moves. You know, I have health. The, you know, I mean, uh, uh, damages, or, or moves damage health usually. You know, you could get a general gist, even if you didn't know how to, like, actual play. Okay, but, like, with Bakugan, I had no fucking clue. I had actually no idea. I should go back down. Hold on. I should deploy that ladder. Ow. I, I know I assume that you're supposed to roll them on the cards, but like I I don't remember what any of the cards said. I, I don't think I have any cards at this point, um, so I I don't know. Maybe I could I could probably make more sense of them now that I'm older. But I I feel like I remember looking at the cards and being like I have no fucking idea what this means. Um, Bakugan also a tier list of childhood toys. Well, I didn't experience all of them, so I feel like it would be unfair. Hello, Aqua Quake. Uh, they have this ooze effect that'll poison you. Okay. <sighs> um, but yeah, that was the thing with like Pokemon cards and Bakugan. Um, they all have like 
a, you know, power creep, essentially, to keep selling toys, because they start, like, at low numbers. It's like, oh, this Bakugan has... I can't remember if it was combat power or whatever, but it's like, they have 150 combat power, 350, and that's cool, but then, like, every time that they release new, like, Bakugan and shit, um... I, you know, the, the numbers would start climbing, and so you always had to get new ones to... And it was a good marketing scheme. I mean, it was exciting to get one that, you know, even though I didn't play the game, had, like, 1,000 power. You know, because uh, big numbers were cool. Um, but, you know, Beyblade did not have that problem. Beyblade did do some shit, you know? I, I've complained multiple times about Bay Wheels. Um... You're weak to gust. I I don't really have gust attacks. I have one gust attack, but eh, don't worry about it. Um, but yeah, I know they they have tried doing stupid things. Bay wheels was stupid, cause like you the uh, I again I've talked about this before, but I will continue to complain about it. I should have used different. Hold on, I'm gonna use different guys for this. Cause with bay wheels. Um, you needed two people. Like, I think straight up, you just needed two people unless you just wanted to launch them and watch them go across the room, which is, is fine. Bay wheels are, like, bay blades, but sideways. I don't know if Japan ever got them. That might have been an American-only, uh, toy, you know? Uh, I'm not sure. But, yeah, no, they were, like, sideways bay blades. They didn't have the little tip to, like, spin on. They were literally just wheels that you would spin using a little, you know, spinny thing. And... You, the way that it was supposed to work is that you would, like, launch them up a ramp or something, and then you and your other friends, Baywheel, would collide midair. But, like, most of the time, 98% of the time when I was playing with Beyblades, I just did it myself, you know? I, I didn't have anyone to play Beyblades with. I just, you know, launched one, and I launched the other, you know? And then you could fight them out. You can't do that with bay wheels because by the time you put your hand on the other d d bay wheel, the other one's already fucking gone. You can't do shit with it anymore. You you, you know it's not a single player experience. Um, they also had these like weird tornado top things. I don't like them because the cool thing about like regular Beyblades is that you could customize the different parts and stuff. Uh, you couldn't do that with like these weird tornado ones. Um, I, I don't even remember if that's their name, but they were all one piece and they were all just like really tall. <laughs> Make a mechanism. I suppose you could have, yes, engineered a, a mechanism. Um, they're weak to gust, right? I do have, oh, I do have, I do have this gust guy, actually. I should, I should upgrade. Um, at some point they tried making this weird like Beyblade thing where there were like samurai on top of the Beyblades, I think, like little action figure guys on top of the Beyblade. That was also stupid. Not a not was not a fan of that. I just like the good old Beyblade. They did, you know, now there's like I, I don't know what the most recent gimmick is, but I do know one from some years back after I, you know, no longer was playing with Beyblades. Um it was, like, burst, and they had a, a chance to, like, just fucking explode from early strong impact. That one is more acceptable, you know? Like, Ninjago? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, no, I think you're right. Like, exactly, like, those little spinning Ninjago tops, but they did it with Beyblade. It was Beyblade brand. Uh, and then, the, the coolest one, uh, generation, quote-unquote, of Beyblades, though, for me, I think, was, uh... Like, the ones from Metal Fury. I mostly... I didn't get very many Metal Fury ones. Because, uh, again, that was at the very tail end of my of my Beyblade phase. But they were really cool because they would have... It's to where you could put your Beyblades in, like, different modes and stuff. Like, you could, you know, take them apart and, and flip the way that one of the... Uh, that Like, the, the fusion wheel, you know, would sit or whatever. Um... And stuff like that, and it would change, you know, how offensive they were or whatever, and I, that was always cool. Um, okay, so I got I got my wind shit up. I should probably put the wind shit on Rabbit Rosalina, though, for real, for real. Um, Rabbit Peach. I should really heal Rabbit Peach. Am I gonna do that? Eh, I don't know. 
Um, I can put this on my boy Rabbit Mario, perchance. Or maybe I should put that on... Uh, okay, change plans. Gonna do this. And this. Uh, maybe I should put Mario back on the team, like regular-ass Mario. Uh, I don't know. Hard decisions, man. All right, this is fine. But no, Bay Beyblade was like probably my my favorite like line of toys. I think out of like all the different ones that I went through, Beyblade went so hard. It because it was again it's so easy to pick up. It's Beyblades, you know, spinning tops, easy, easy. You get them, you spin them, you can mix and match different parts. It's cool. All right. I maybe why why did I go down there? Am I stupid? I might be. God damn it! Hold on, let me restart the fucking bat. I I I missed something. Okay, this is not even a hard. I just I'm tripping. I'm talking too much about Beyblades, and it's it's taking my mind off the game, dude. Okay, manage team. I want to give Rabbit Mario not that spark. Give um. Yeah. All right. Sure. Sounds gaming. You just like collecting cool looking Pokemon cards for the uh for the most part. I, I did like Pokemon cards also, but they were a bit more expensive just because I mean it you could buy they, uh, I mean, I don't know. I, I got more mileage out of one Beyblade than like a couple packs of Pokemon cards on average, you know. Uh I would say so. But Pokemon cards were cool. I did like them. They were just kind of expensive relative to the usefulness I got out of them. That green frog star thing needs to be vanquished. I'll I'll keep this in mind. Okay, I can get all of these guys, I think, over to my location. Um hold on, can I move back a little bit and still get them all? No, I'm gonna miss. Dang, I just barely miss the one guy over there. I might I might be able to get it. Hold on, if I if I just team jump a little bit. Alright, let's let's see about this. This gets I believe that gets four. Four up in there. Yeah, okay. So get them all over here. They're, they're on their way. Any any day now. Alright, there we go. Um, Alright, now I need Rabbit Mario to absolutely fuck them up. So get him over here. Uh, have Rabbit Peach go hiya! So true. Alright. Um, do this. And fuck him up. God damn. Insane. All right. Uh, now we have a peach has to hide because she is going to die. Um, who who's left? So we got these two big guys. What are you guys weak to again? Ooze. Okay. Um, one more of these. Uh, one prevents targets from attacking, other one prevents targets from using their own techniques and their spark cards. Okay, really annoying. Yeah, no, Rabbit Mario is really baller. Um, melee characters are always neat in these kinds of, in these kinds of games. Epic pat moment, dude. Hell yeah. Is this, was this okay to do this? Blop. Maybe I uh, hold on. Let me. I'm gonna go over here. And I'm gonna go over here. And rain on your parade. Hoo -ha -hoo -ha. All right, pretty ballin'. Um. 
How much damage does this do? Does this kill? It should kill. Yeah, very nice. All right, and and now we're balling. I could move Rabid Mario like all the way over there if I really wanted to. I'll just I'll just leave him for now. Double pet. Oh my God! Whoa, hell no! That's crazy. Never in my life would I have imagined. Maybe I would have at least like once in my life, you know, possibly. So we got this dude all the way over there. Um, they're closing in. On oh my God! True. Wahoo! Wahoo! Blank. So I can ooze up this guy. Get absolutely oozed on, loser. No, I mean, you know, um, I mean, she can be sad, you know, uh, not very often, usually pretty uh, chipper, I would say, but I, I suppose, you know, it's not, it's not with, um, outside of her physical limitations. Uh, just not, uh, you know, uh, uh, too frequent. Sad, you know, a little angry, t extra, what, you know, whatever, a, a pog, um, t normal, t t open mouth happy, you know, the possibilities, uh, endless, actually. Yeah, I would say uh, probably finite. F finite finite possibilities but you know there there's 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 a, a decent amount of them god damn uh healing oh yeah hanzo moment i need healing or whatever i don't know or is that genji who do uh, it maybe genji says that. i don't know i don't play overwatch immune to depression uh yeah you know crazy uh you know that what you can come up with when um you know you can make a cat talk really crazy J just uh temporary effect you know that uh i was actually watching um some videos talk about this game called like the, the series called lisa which i've known about before but i've never played uh, you know, yet another Earthbound inspired RPG. Uh, but just because you you mentioned it, there is there is a, a pill in those games that the plot often revolves around called Joy that keeps you from feeling pain. Yeah, no, I've never played Lisa, but I I have watched you know watched it on it, um, and I get the general gist of the games and stuff. Get his ass! Oh my god, his ass got god, that's crazy. Um, schlabbity booby. That's crazy that he really got schlabbity goobed. Never heard of it till now. It's not. I'm, I could play it on stream eventually. Uh, we, we shall see. You know, maybe this will be another situation, like, off, where you're like, Adam, play off. And then I don't. And then and then I do, after one bazillion years, and then and then you, you don't get to watch almost any of it. <laughs> or, like, you miss half of it. Shmorbdom, yeah, dude. I don't like this bee rabbit. I, I really... I, I do not enjoy... I don't know. I mean, the longer they're on screen, the less I inherently hate them, but... Hello. Oh my god, you can talk! You're the great spirit of the Everbloom? Yeah. Oh, honey. Oh, look, they got bee talk. I'm so sorry, honey. That was just the dry air affecting my throat. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Kelly. Uh, you know, for what was worth, though, uh, it was ballin'. And I finally got to watch some video essay I've been putting off for, like, a while about on-off. 
like uh, off a retrospective or some shit. Well, I want to cut off their wing. I, you know, I want to be cruel. I do kind of think I'd prefer if they just stood up on two legs though, and just had useless wings Alex. instead of actually flying Alex. like that. Whatever they're drinking looks kind of good though. I want, I want luminous, honey-based, uh, hot drink. My sweet. Uh, drizzle, my sweet. Uh, you know, you, you get the gist. I've, I've not really been reading, but it's fine. <laughs> I've been, <laughs> like, parentheses, this is a joke. Mmm, I don't know. I'll keep, I'm keeping an eye on you. Um. I was gonna say something, God damn it! I forgot. Dang, I I thought about it and then and then I got I got thinking too hard about about the hot B. And and now and now uh I can't I can't think of what I was thinking of. Our flowers. With other visual in the million loves and okay, so we gotta fix flowers apparently. Oh my god, upgrade of the wave, you can now affect some vegetation. Oh okay. That's an oddly specific, I feel like, power-up, but okay, I'm glad I can affect some vegetation now. What, well, I... Uh... What do you want for- oh, I have to spam it, okay. Yippee! Obstacles to victory, crazy. Um, what's going on here? Another bridge? Another day, another victory for the OG. Yeah, all right, let's let's do this. I think this is man maybe mandatory. Ah. All right, it's deserve torture or death. I you know, I'm not I'm not too I mean, like you know, I'm I'm not the biggest rabid fan. It's a, a, a little excessive, though, you know? I mean, if you want to exterminate them, at least let them, like... You know, like, m pugs probably shouldn't exist. But it's not like I want to incinerate all pugs on the spot, you know? I mean, I it would just be cool if, if they stopped breeding, you know? Um, or being bred, rather. Uh, so, you know, maybe, may, maybe, like, a situation more like that... You know, uh, instead of actively... What's going on, Lollipop? Instead of actively trying to, you know, like, kill them all. Just, just me, though. Ah, uh, okay, so the... I see. I gotta get over there. I can maybe do that, like, turn in one turn. Let me, let me go back. Pick some different guys. You hate being bald? I did not know you were bald. Um, I'm sorry to hear your baldness. You know, I think being bald would feel kind of nice, like, on a pillow. Oh, dude. I I totally forgot about that. Uh, oh, like, I, I forgot that you got that, um... A diagnosis not uh, too long ago. Like, the last time I played this game, maybe even. Uh, dude, I'm super... Super sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I feel like that's such a... The understatement of the year but yeah no i hope that's going all right um but on the flip side though uh, with baldness it does i feel like maybe it would feel kind of nice like on a pillow on a cold pillow maybe restrict their rights i mean i'm not trying to lower the quality of rabid life okay What is happening here? Uh, I want, I want, I, I really don't want them to be torture. I, that's a little much for me. I think maybe. All right, get Luigi up in here. Excuse me. Um, can anyone else team jump twice? I want to say no, but let me, let me see. Maybe. I have a lot of skill points. I, I need to spend on some guys. 
So this gives them an extra team jump. Okay. Um. Yippee! Uh, okay. Uh, God damn it, I, I forgot what I was doing. I don't think anyone else gets a second team jump. I think that's just a, a Luigi exclusive. Okay, good to know. Well, I'll try this out. We'll see how it goes. Um, gosh dang it. Fuck. <sighs> Let me go back really quick. Um, if I'm going to do this, I can do make this really easy on myself by just giving myself this invulnerability guy. And then, I mean, I, I think I'm just balling at that point. I can also... I can also... Um... Yeah, this is fine. I can, I can live with this. Okay. This is not a banger. This is not a banger. And I know bangers. Should I... Wow, this music is... What the fuck? This shit is cracked. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh my god. I know this game has some really good composers, but like, holy shit. I, I don't know. I did take it back. Really good, actually. Okay, let me turn it back down. Go, Luigi, go. Okay, I'm de debating how to do this. So I want to get Luigi some Monster Hunter music. I could see that, yeah. I know that, uh, I don't know all the composers. Uh, uh, Citrus, when he was here on one of these streams, listed some of them out for me. I can't remember all of them. But I know some guy who worked on Kingdom Hearts uh, worked on this song. I think some guy that worked on Final Fantasy music also maybe worked on it some. So it's all, you know, it all kind of, it makes sense. So who should I, should I team jump off of? I, I mean, we have to team jump off the lowest common denominator, which is kind of lame, but all right, this is, I can make this work. Yeah. Jesus. Jump area is not very far, sadly, but that's okay. Um. <laughs> oh, so true, Luigi. Uh, easiest shit of my life. Turn one. Didn't even have to do shit. Wait, what? Uh, good food source. Again, like, they're sentient enough to where I'd prefer not to eat them, but... Um, uh, just me, you know, I can, I can, uh, I'll, I'll keep, I'll keep your guys' opinions of mine. Yo, what's up? It's, uh, it's, uh, fish guy. Oh yeah, I'm gonna not do fish guy on stream. I don't, I don't think, I, I don't think I need to do fish guy on stream. He's not, he's not high priority for me. Where am I going next? Exactly. Also, what's the point of flipping between these two cannons? Uh, probably for the minigame. All right, don't worry about it. Let's just pass through for now. Yeah, you get a roast rabbit. I don't know if I've ever actually eaten rabbit. Um, the most exotic thing I've eaten is probably alligator or frog, which isn't even like that crazy. Um, I haven't eaten too. I haven't even eaten too many weird things. Uh, not that rabbit is weird. Rabbit is more, more normal, I would say, than gator, probably, for me. But I, I don't think I've had rabbit. Or I, uh, I would say that I haven't had venison. Technically, I've had venison chili, but it's like, it was in chili, you know? I mean, I was eating too much, like, spicy beans and tomato and whatever else is in chili to really taste the, you know, the, the venison, so... It was good, though. I don't even think I've had, like, lamb. I wanna... I've been watching some Hell's Kitchen, though, lately. 
Um, the season, uh, latest season just finished, and shit, um, I, I, I really, like, want to try the, the stuff they're making, uh, real talk, it, it, it looks uh, delicious. You know, he's like, oh, lamb, and of course everyone's like, you know, knows that, haha, where's the lamb sauce, you know, but like, that lamb sauce on the lamb probably is really banger, I wanna, I wanna try it. Um, like, I really am not too big on, like, I don't, I don't think I have high food standards. Um, but maybe, like, just once. I want, I want to eat, like, a snob. I'm unsure what to do with this. Because I need to get it out. Oh. That's what gets sauce from a lamb. You, you probably you probably don't get sauce from the lamb. Uh, you know, just my assumption. I mean, you probably could make if you milk the lamb, you could probably make some uh, some kind of sauce from you know with like the uh, that includes the milk of lamb if you really wanted. But I, you know, probably not what what Gordon Ramsay's land sauce, lamb sauce, uh, has in mind. Hold on, I gotta flip this back and then put that back there. If it had already been killed, cut up, and cooked for you to eat, um, you know, th this is an interesting question a little bit actually because I, I don't know if I'm gonna give you a definitive answer by the way, but I am gonna say. You know, a lot of people, uh, for, like, an argument for vegan veganism is like, oh, well, you know, vegans, when, um, you know, they don't eat meat, but, you know, the, the pig is still dead or whatever. Um, but, you know, it's, like, it, which, is, which is, like, true, probably. I mean, they may, you know, do they actually have an impact on the demand of meat? I mean, if there's enough of them, yes, altogether. Um... But, you know, how, how valid is that argument? I mean, if, if the, someone, like, killed a human, right? Like, a guy. And was like, well, he's not gonna undie. Might as well eat him. You know, I mean... Uh, like, I you know, a, a pig... I, I know that's, like, a pig-human generally not considered equivalent. But it's kind of the same deal going on there. I, I don't know if I... You know, even if someone, like, died and they were like, my life's dream is to get eaten. And I'm t this is getting in, like, almost weird territory for me. Um, <laughs> I don't know how far I want to take this conversation. But I'm just saying, even if it, he was like, yeah, dude, I'm, um, you know, I, I, I am giving myself to the cause. You know, I, 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 I would like someone to, to eat me. I I I don't think I'd really want to eat it still. Uh, you know, just just me. Uh, weak to shock. Okay, I do have shum oh shum some shock stuff. <coughs> All right, good stuff. You just can't eat the brain of of what like a, a person for for what reason like le legally or like what 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 do you mean you can't eat it? Let me go to my man Rabbit Mario. He actually has a, a skill that should be good for this. Two skills even. Um, I can't I can't get both though unless I refund something else. Uh, I could refund this if I really wanted to. Or this. Um, I kind of don't feel like refunding anything right now. Uh, I'll, I'll make do. Uh, I should really work on upgrading these guys in a second. Upgrading is just so deboring, you know? That isn't meant to be eaten. Oh, like you can't digest it even? 
what am I doing? Uh, right, Rabbit Mario. Switch them probably for Luigi. Uh, does anyone have... I feel like uh, some character has, has two dashes. Outside of Rabbit Mario, who we don't actually have the upgrade for, but... Maybe I just considered it, and we don't actually have a character that has it yet. Rabbit Peach could get it. Um... Landing damage might help to... Uh, might count as a trip for some of these guys. I don't know. I don't know how this works. You get a disease. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. So, according to these guys, it has to be a dash thing. Okay. So, with that in mind, um, I, I've been stalling for a long time. Let me... Let me... I'm gonna go back. Manage that team. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sparks, Rabbit Peach. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, fucking get that shock. That shock going. Oh, my God. What? What, the, what, the, what does this brain entail? Uh, this is this. <laughs> non kerbal laughing? Does it like? Is this real? Is that is that is that real? Or is this like? Uh, uh, is that is this some like? Is it? Yeah, I mean that. Lag. I mean, I'm gonna assume you're telling the truth, but I've I've literally never heard of this. I feel like this is something that I, sh I should have known. Like, I mean, not that it would have come up, I guess, but... Like, I don't know, this just seems like one of those fun facts that, like, everyone knows, and yet I, I don't. Can I get... No, I, I can only get... Okay, this is fine. I, I can, actually. Hold on. This should be... Ah, uh, it didn't, because it wasn't a direct dash. That's lame. All right. Why do Goombas make weird noises in this game? I feel like I feel like this was pointed out at some point, but they do not sound right. I should have. Uh, I gosh dang it. Where where's the fucking oh. Okay, like, all of those miss. Uh, which is really unfortunate, but whatever, I guess. I can- I can ooze on him. I'm gonna turn music down- or game down just a little bit. Rare and curable fatal- fatal neurodegenerative disorder. Formerly common among the four people of, uh, Papua New Guinea. Form of transmissible spongiform, whatever, caused by transmission of folded proteins, abnormally folded ones, which leads to symptoms like tremors, loss of coordination from neurodegeneration, and can cause random bouts of laughter. Whack, dude. All right, well, I'll keep in mind not not to not to do that. So now now, now I know. <laughs> Keep it in mind. Uh, let's. I get. I kind of get this guy. Oh my god. Bazinga. Can I get you from back here? Yeah. Gaming. So the brain has to be infected with a disease. It's not always. But probably to be on the safe shot side, just don't eat brains. This dude's gonna fucking murk. Oh no, never mind. Stupid idiot. Now this music is actually so baller. I don't know what that one skill they have. Does that mean that they'll snipe me? It responds to attacks with a counterattack. I see. Okay. 
So it'd be best to kill them in, in one one shot if I can, I think. I mean, man, that, that sounds right to me, all right. All right, get a... Erm, erm, erm. Get Rabbit Peach down there. Get that buff going here in a second. Oh, you know, I didn't think about this, but all these Goombas probably gonna gonna fucking kill us. Uh, no, actually, we can Anui it and, and we'll be safe. Uh, right, no, we're fine. That said, let's get that strength buff. Zooey Mama. I should be able to kill you guys, maybe. Please crit. Please, like, super crit. Okay, well, that... that did not super crit. Oh my god, they did a lot. Okay, that's that's fine. Uh, yeah, dang, I should have had this counter attack thing active. That's all right. My bad. All right, alas. Um. Gaming. All right, and freeze. Falling. Uh, yippee! Get you. Sick of his ass. And you. Also sick of his ass. Okay, I thought he lived for a second. I thought he, he got stuck on some weird collision. No, he's fine. Uh, I'll heal with you, because, like, I don't know, why not? But I eat a Goomba, I'd... Man, these are tough questions. It depends, because... Sometimes, I, I, Goombas are lower, I would say, on the pecking order compared to a rabbit, you know, in terms of, like, intelligence. But, I mean, they are shown in certain Mario games to be, like, fully functioning members of society. Not not always, but, like, in, in the Paper Mario games and stuff especially. They just talk and do things like normal people. And it close <laughs> Yeah, the the rabbit faces are not crazy appealing. I, I you know, it's just the bug eyes. It, the rabbit eyes make everything uglier by default. Yeah, no, you know, interesting, interesting debates or so, something to be said. Um, Goombas, yeah, I don't know. It, it depends, cause like on one hand. You know, Goombas, I, I feel like sometimes Goombas are more like trained dogs, you know? And like, I don't want to eat a dog either, but like, I'd feel more comfortable with that versus, you know, a person. Um, to bite, you know, preferably not into eating dogs either. Uh, but I mean, like, you know, dogs just got the luck of the draw being, you know, quote unquote, man's best friend. Uh, it's, it, they're not really particularly... You know, it, it, just because of the way that they're in our society, I, you know, I'm less comfortable eating them. I mean, I, uh, pigs are probably around the same level of intelligence, yet I'm way more Ill willing to eat them just because that's what we do. You know? Where am I going, by the way? I reach, reach in the central station, but of course. Um, but, you know, some, I think Goombas could conceivably be, uh, getting back to the point, more of, like, trained animals and less of, like, own, you know, uh, fully, like, capable, you know, uh, in, in intense thought-bearing beings. I don't know where it wants to be. I know it says to reach the central station, but I, I don't actually know how to, like, do that right now. Oh, maybe this thing. Yippee! All right. Uh, that's probably it. Mmm, star bits. What do you want? Get those oozers out of here. I'll consider it. Um, hidden somethings. Yeah, all right. Um, there is a little power up thing over there. I'm not gonna worry about it, I guess. 
Yeah, capybaras are another thing where they're just such, like, pleasant-seeming animals that, you know... I, I would also prefer not to eat them, because, like, they're just chill as hell. But, like, also, you know, sometimes you'll get videos of, like, people where they have, like, a, a pet cow. Not, like, a livestock cow, but just, like, a pet cow that's, like, super well-groomed. And they're, like, super chill, and they're laying on, you know, the, the lap listening to their owner play, like, guitar or some shit. And, you know, sometimes I'll look at that, and it's like, oh, you know, it's too bad I eat those guys. But usually I forget about it, you know, in, in, in enough time. <laughs> they pull up. They do. They hop out after the af after af oh my fuck. Hop out at the after party. Um I got a reach area. I mean, if you insist. We got a sea stooge. Those guys are actually really annoying. Um okay. So, what's the best way? I mean, this way seems to have a lot more enemies than this way, so I don't really know why I'd go the other way. I don't even know if it's that much more direct. It might be slightly. Hop out at the after party. A panicked capybara. I mean, I don't think I've seen it either, but I'm sure, I'm sure, you know, they can, they can get a little, a little frantic if they, if they really want to. Uh, switch out for the maximum distance, I'm, I'm wondering, um, I don't know how far Rabid Mario can go, hold on, let me, let's, let's peep. Rabid Mario can go 15 right now uh rabid rosalina can go fi 15 right now okay i should really use my skill points soon don't have any survival instincts besides eat and sleep you know it's it, it's always crazy whenever you get those like bugs that's like oh yeah these bugs like you know spawn in you know, they, and then they, they immediately, like, lock in. They know, they know what to do, you know. Uh, like, the ones that become, like, f uh, the, the parasitic ones or whatever. That become, well, they're not parasitic. They're not parasites exactly, but they have a parasitic relationship of, like, off, off, uh, whatever. So, there, there's, like, this, this bug. I can't remember what kind of bug. Parasitoids? I, I don't know. It's, it's some type of, type of bug, and it pretends to be, like, an ant queen. Like, it puts off, like, pheromones or calls or whatever that make ants think it's their queen. And then it, it gets brought inside their nest without resistance. Uh, you know, and then and then it just st starts fucking devouring the babies. You know, and it, it just, like, comes out of its egg, and it, it knows that that's its purpose. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, that's how, that's how I survive out here on these streets. And that's always wild. And, you know, my rationale is always like, oh, they, they sacrifice, like, the ability to, you know, think, um, you know, for, for like, pre-programmed instructions. But, like, evolutionarily, that shit's wild. Like, I don't even know what steps bring them to, to, to that point to where they just come out the egg with, with that stuff in, like, in their, in their mind. Anyways, what am I doing? Um, rabbit, uh, regular Luigi. Landing range. Oh, yeah, please. Actually, should get that shit up. Team jump, extra dash. Adds an extra dash after performing a team jump. Oh, okay. Well, I don't really need that right now, but good to know. Okay, let's uh, go back to the team. Switch out. Rabbit Peach, maybe, for Luigi, just because Luigi... A rabbit, a peach, does not go very far. Okie dokie. Alright. Locked in. Let's get rabid Mario over here, maybe. Now nah, it's gotta be rabid peach, because she's... Yeah, alright. And then, ba ba ball. Luigi! So true, Luigi. God damn, what a what a chipper guy. What a what a fella. Well, I'm a jump. 
they could just speed run their life. You know, I that that's a that's a, a good funny way of thinking. If I jump down here, okay, so I can jump down there. Optimally, I can kill this guy, like, ASAP. Okay, I can't, sadly. But that's fine. Um, I can work on it. Wow, Luigi, that kind of didn't do that much shit at all. Yo, what's going on, Ice? Yeah, I mean, no worries. No need to apologize. Stuff happens. You can't be here for every stream. And even if you could be, you have no obligation. Um, I almost feel like I should have someone go over this way just to create a distraction, but it's fine. We'll just, we'll just leave it here. Uh, alright. Good enough. Brum. So I need to get all the way to that green. I maybe can within two turns. We'll find out. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Well, at least I didn't fall into the pit. Not into the pit! It burns me when I'm Ganon from CDI. Uh, I don't know which one. The, the one where Zelda is the protagonist, because she's like, good. Uh, the Wand of Gamelon? Wow, that sure was a bazillion enemies that moved all at one time. I can maybe get there, like, ne next turn without, without issue. Next stop, Ouija. God, he's spitting. What a what a guy. Hell yeah. Mario will see this and say, hell yeah. I'm gonna get shit on if I do that. Hold on. Do I do I get ouchied from that? I don't think so. Alright, gaming. Uh I don't know. Uh, I'm just chilling for real. Get him, Luigi. Get him, Luigi. Oh my god, shit on him, Luigi. They they don't know they don't know what you're capable of. Show them who's what, L Luigi. Ah, oh, dude, they're covering my entrance. This is some bullshit. All right, maybe I can't get there like I thought I could. And next turn, I, uh, if Luigi gets murked, I mean, it's all over, dude. Nah, we're chilling. Don't even worry about it. Easiest shit in my life. Luigi Carey, he's actually insane. Um, he might be goaded with the sauce. <laughs> I am the one thing about this game. I'm kind of considering maybe putting up the uh, turning up the difficulty. Um. Enemies are tougher and deal more damage. That also sounds like a pain in my ass at the same time. Um, but, like, so far, you know, I haven't had a hard level in a while because with the way sparks and everything work, I mean, I can... I don't know. I Usually I just have the, the tools for, like, any situation. Like, very, uh, which, I mean, is intended. But, like, a lot of tools for any situation. <laughs> Uh, where should I go? That is to say that I haven't, like, had too much difficulty in a while. Because, like, we just have some members of our party that are just actually cracked. And some sparks, I mean, are, are really good, too. I've just been kind of wandering around, not really knowing, like, where the game specifically wants me to go. I mean, I see it, it, it has a marker on the minimap for me. Reach... Central Station, okay, chill. What, uh, how, I don't know where to go to do that, though. Real talk. It's the Phantom's Gold Gramophone Award for Best Opera Album. Wow, look at, right, look at Rival Luigi. Into what a, what a, what a hard pose. Insane. Okay, time to, like, find out where, what I'm supposed to be doing in the game. So far, uh, I, I don't know. 
Okay, go over this way, right? I forgot we were like over here and then and then I wasn't. Insane, good stuff. Uh this way. We can't go this way because there's gobbity ghoul in the way. Uh we can go into this pipe. Not enough screenshots could have could have conveyed how how hard that went, no. Um, but it'll do for now. I really don't want to fight this guy. I mean, I don't have to. I'm just, I'm just stealth around him. Stealth is a, is a generous word, but they do all that for coins. I mean, I, I thought there'd be something, I don't know, a little bit more cool up here. That, that... all right, this one hide. He can't see me. Hell yeah. Um, what the deuce? What the scallop? Yippee! Yippee! All right, gaming. You know, when the PS4 was coming out, I thought Knack was gonna go so hard. I never actually got to play Knack, but it was very average, apparently. But it looked, it looked so good. I remember in like the, one of the PS4 like. You know, tra like a, a trailer for... I, maybe you wouldn't call it trailer. What would you call it? Like a promo for the PS4 itself, like the machine. There's uh, They wanted to emphasize the share button on the controller. And some guy's playing Knack, and he, he defeats an enemy, and he posts it to, like, PS4 social media or whatever. And he's like, here's how you beat this enemy in Knack. And I was like, wow, I can't wait to get a PS4 to, you know beat enemies in Knack and then post it to PS4 social media. Uh, I never ended up doing that. What, how, what, what button controls this? Is it, uh, Ed, I mean, maybe I'm stupid. Oh, this? Probably this. Right. Remember playing a demo of it in a store? Thought you'd be a bit, it'd be a bigger title too. Yeah, I mean it, it did well enough, I guess, to get a, a sequel, which is strange. I don't think the sequel was particularly incredibly received either. I mean, I don't think anyone hates Nag. I don't think there's anyone who's like, I can't fucking believe Nag. Literally betrayed all of my expectations. My life is ruined. You know, I I got a PS4 just for Nag. You know, use my life savings, and it ended up being dog shit. Um, but you know, no actual PlayStation social media. I've talked about this on stream before, but it's always so crazy to me that like console wars still very much exist. Console war, it's just because like I have dipped out of those spaces, like you know, as I got older and stuff, it just wasn't something that I, you know. Uh, participated in and, and saw as much anymore but no there like it, it is still so active where people will be like man uh ps4 or you know playstation copers you know thinking that spider-man should win game of the year you know cope harder uh like and it's like oh my god dude <laughs> what it's not that serious i People just like Spider, you know, and then so it's like, OK, you know, Xbox, uh, clearly they they just have intense fans. But no, then, of course, you know, you go into the replies of that comment and you'll have like people who do like PlayStation. And they're like better than, you know, Halo piss edition, you know, for being so shitty. Uh, whatever. I don't know. I mean, that's not a real quote, but you, you get the idea. You know, it, it is it is savage. Nack ate your family and forced you to play it. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm I'm glad you're I hope you're on the road to recovery. I, I'm I hope you've told a therapist. Um, Sullivan, about the darkness tentacle I'm Uh Yep. Don't worry. <laughs> yep. I, I do like that wiggler train, it does go hard. Ah, uh, I forgot to screenshot it again, dude. Okay, oh well. Uh, I feel... So if I go over this way, is that... Oh, there's a little mini puzzle something. 
Hey, Lopez edition went hard and is worth buying, though. I do... I watched a video I said... I watched uh, so many of those, but I did watch a video recently on someone complaining about how Halo Infinite is, uh, is like, crazy super ass. Um, I still kind of want to play it eventually on stream since I've played Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4, Reach and ODST all on stream. Um, not 5, though, because I would have to... That's not a story mandatory thing, so I'm going to skip it on stream for now, at least. Um, I, uh, 5... No one likes 5, from what I know. I think some people think the 5 has, like, probably fine gameplay, but, but no one actually plays 5 because they think that the plot is going to be good. Uh, people absolutely hate the fucking plot, apparently, of 5. Uh, so much that 6 basically retcons it. I don't think it actually, actually retcons it exactly. It just doesn't, like, follow up on the, the end of 5, and they just kind of, like, wrap it up off screen so that they can not talk about it anymore. Clearly not. Dangerous and almost inconsequential. Yes, yes, that's great, but I do know that Infinite has a new Cortana, because old Cortana did die, and that's like one of the things that they kept. Uh, uh yes, why wouldn't I at this point? I don't know. Oh my god. That was so cool. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Yo, well, thank you, Taysier, for the uh, resubscription. And Marlene, oh, oh my god, I didn't see you guys come in. I was, sorry, I was busy screenshotting. Um, Yo, what's going on, Marlene? Welcome, welcome in. Taysier, hello again. Uh, anyone else who came in from the raid and is balling here? Um, I'm Adam, talking cat, if you don't know. I'm on the shoulders of Eve, the blue-haired girl. She's mute, she's a scientist, she's the one who made me talk. There you go. Epic basics of the lore. Uh, Lethal Company. I haven't, stre I, I haven't streamed Lethal Company, but I've played a, uh, a decent amount of it. Really fun, actually. Um, I, I do want to play more before like it becomes irrelevant, because it will eventually become irrelevant, because, you know, that's it, it's just how it goes. Which is, you know, sad. But yeah, I, I need to... I want to play it at least a, a few more times before, like, everyone gets tired of that shit. It does still have, like, mod support. Like, a decent amount of mod support, though, which is nice. Uh, here, here we go! Well, hold on. Let me... What's, what's popping here? So I gotta... I gotta destroy all these shits. Understood, understood. Um, where's all the other ones? 12 turns before defeat. Okay, that's fine, but I'm confused. I see three. Where's the rest of them? Do I have to get these three before I see them? I uh, probably. Okay, let's uh, let's switch our team around. This is fun scaring Marlene. Scaring? Did you get to? Did you have one of those mods that let you like control the monster or something? Sure. Oh, there's nothing dangerous about it. I've seen some shit, and it doesn't convey very well o over words, but it's like. Um, wow, someone should make a company. You know, and then it's, like, lethal. Like, the, the you know, they, they have a person and they label it lethal, you know, because they're the ones that make a company. You, you get me. Very funny. Oh, with the sound alerts. Uh, God, what am I doing? Uh, I need, I need to switch out. Ah, shit. Ah, double shit. I I say this like every time sound alerts are mentioned, but I really need to add more sound alerts. I keep I keep like not doing that. Like I just I just forget to. I forget it's something on my agenda, and then even when I do remember, I'm like eh, I'll do it in a bit, uh, in a bit, and then I and then I forget again. Uh, quite unfortunate. Where who? Mm, I could yeah I'll just get Mario back on here. This is a certified hook classic team. Uh, swap out probably a few guys. I do. Let me see something really quick. A jump scare alert today. I I mean technically I have Freddy jump scare, but it's it's a joke. It you know. Uh, I don't know if you know a Freddy jump scare.
<laughs> but it's, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it, it's not exactly the scariest thing ever. <clears throat> ah! Sorry, my bad. I got, uh, I didn't expect Freddy. Oh, there he goes. If you had a nickel for every popular game where you work for a corrupt company, you'd have two nickels. What's the what's the other one you have in mind? I'm sure there is another one, of course. You know, corrupt companies. Ah! Sorry, delayed reaction. I just, uh, you know, uh, uh, lag in my brain. I have high, high brain ping right now. What are you weak to again? I always forget. Gust? Yeah, okay. Uh, shut the fuck up. Oh, Deep Rock Galactic. I've played Deep Rock Galactic a couple times on stream also. It's a really good game. I, I, I haven't put that much time into it compared to, like, a lot of other people. I never even went on, like, the, uh, uh deep, uh, expeditions or whatever they're called. I didn't get too far in it, but what I did play was, was, was fun. <laughs> Me when I'm Mario. Um. Wow, I chose. I forgot to change out my sparks for this. I feel like maybe I should go back and do that before it's too late, but, uh, oh well, what can you do? Buzzing Gaming. What? It, can I kill you? No. Even if all, all of them create... Oh, oh my god, look at this. Bazinga. Insane, look at him. Electric chair. Crazy. Alright, uh... Well, that's fine. I, I think I can kill this guy with Mario. <laughs> I sure wish this uh, rock galactic wasn't so shallow. Deep rock. Ah, oh, dang, that really didn't kill how Do you have, like, one health? Come on, man. That's lame. So what, what's the status on Mario right now, even? I, I have no idea what's happening. If I move, does it hurt me? Like, what, what does this status effect do to me? Oh, I could probably look. Hold on. One prevents targets from attacking, and one prevents tar- Oh, okay, I can't attack right now. I can dash, but I can't use my, like, weapon. Uh, under- understandable, okay. Rock and stone! I- I would do a more, uh, convincing, you know, uh, dwarf voice, but I- my throat already- I- I don't want to fry my throat. I think I'm alright without that. <clears throat> uh, Scout is my most played character also. I've played almost no other character. Scout, it, it, uh, largely because a lot of what I played is single player. Um, I probably should have moved Peach up of, or, or these guys up before I shot, but it's it's fine. Um, and, I mean, when you're doing single player, it's just kind of difficult. Um... Wait, you know, without Scout, because you just can't get, obviously, get in as many places, um, etc., etc. At least in my experience. But I did not give all of the other characters a proper try either. Which is uh, too bad. So what happens now? Where Where's the rest of them? I, I, it says destroy 13 more. Where, where are the other 13? I'm dying out here. Soaring, flying. I mean, I feel like I should just be over here until until more spawn, right? I love grappling to places your team cannot reach and watching them struggle and or die. I always like whenever like engineer makes a platform for scout or something, and then and then scout fucks it up anyways, and and they can't reach the ledge, and then they just die from fall damage. That one's pretty baller, too. Dang, Raven Peach is getting shit on. 
Oh, hell no, Mario. Mario, watch out. Mario! Oh my god, he's getting c comboed. Mario, no! All right, this, this fight is going awful already, dude. What the fuck? To watch your team suffer. Okay, they, they he do have more now. I kind of feel like I should I should restart. Uh, okay, I'm gonna restart. That's a little lame, but I I was not feeling good about that. Water. <laughs> what 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 was SpongeBob? You know, in that episode where he's like, he, he doesn't have water. Air is not good, Patrick. Air is not good. Something like that. I, uh, <coughs> that's not easy on my throat either. It also sounds more hoarse, but I don't feel like uh, trying a second time, I don't think. Oh, my God. <sighs> uh, so I forgot to equip better sparks last time, so I should really do that. Uh, yeah, this electric one. Ballin'. Ba, ba, ba. I be ballin'. Ba, 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 Uh, the dashy one. I mean, dashy one isn't bad. It's just, it's not super useful for Mario right now. Ah, excuse me. My Apollo cheese. Uh, 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 Um. I'll give you splashiness. Maybe I should upgrade some of these guys. I definitely... You also do not need this shit. Um, I give you Water Dash. I can give you Fireness. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's, let's try this shit. Wait, God, but I, I wanted to... I forgot, I wanted to equip someone else. Ah, shit. Okay, hold on. Give me give me one second. Uh, you know, I've, I've never opened up Genshin. Uh, I've never I've never played it. Or any other MiHoYo game. Uh, Zenless Zone Zero. There's a shark girl there that I like. So maybe I'll play it. <laughs> but... I don't know. Um, I don't know what the gameplay particularly is like. I'm not sure if I'd enjoy it that much. Um, I, I, I'm more likely to play Star Rail over Genshin, though. Uh, let me, yeah, let me switch out Rabid Rosalina for for my boy. And then, what does Rabid Rosalina have? Uh, them shits, yeah. Switch out them shits. Get the get the electric zoomy booby woomy. Um, sounds good. And I mean, I could do the gust thing. It, it that's not terrible. Or I could give him the repel if I really want to. I don't know. Um, I could give him electric dash. Whatever, sure. Their Hoyo verse. Oh, okay. My, my bad. You play Genshin a couple of times, um, because some family liked it. You could never get into it. I probably could get into it like all right if I really wanted to, but it's uh, yeah, it doesn't super seem like crazy at my alley. <coughs> Jeez. I sorry. I keep going to this menu. Let me let me upgrade some skills if I'm gonna use this guy. Weapon damage. More weapon damage is always good. Uh, enable exhaust dash. Applies weak and effect to the target. Also, pretty good sounding. Uh, I don't think I can do anything more with just one. Well, I can, technically. Uh, exhaust takes free return as a recharge. Uh, I, I could. What was this? Four increases dash as we can perform. Okay. I could, I could upgrade. Crit chance. All right, sure. Bazinga. Uh, ba 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 Weapon range. Uh, extra dash. 
Excuse me. Weapon range, probably, sure. Uh, I could increase again. Uh, what did this do? 40% damage, more damage for the third rocket. Oh, oh no, that's not the right one. Recovers 20% of her health if the target of her triple troll attack is defeated. I mean, I could. Let's just, uh, increase third rocket damage for now, and so I don't have to think about it too hard. What's this? Mario can target and attack an opponent while gliding in the air. Jump shot also deals additional damage. Okay. Tempted to try getting into it again. Uh, what Genshin characters would I cannibalize? <laughs> Any of them with animal attributes? I guess that is the most uh, logical answer, question mark? Oh, like live I don't know. Okay, well, I, you know, maybe, maybe I think that's as far as this conversation goes. Uh, you know, uh, uh yeah. Well, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, Rabbit Luigi. Um, what am I doing here? Just look at that Bazinga. Insane. Too bad that, you know, didn't hit, but that's fine. I didn't expect it to. There aren't that many animal characters. I know in Zenless Zone Zero, some guys are straight up just like animal people, at the very least. But I haven't actually, you know, played that game and it's not out. So, uh, Gust. All right, how do I how do I gust these guys? Did I bring Gust with me? I did not. Why why didn't I do that? Okay, that's fine. Whatever. I don't care. Um. <laughs> go over this a ways, per chance. Yahoo! That's what I'm saying, Mario. Urgh. Ooh, kill him! Ooh, kill him! Can I get uh, that? His the third one is just down to range, at least from where I am right now. I can get it from here, but then I'm like crazy exposed right now. Maybe I should have brought Peach into this. This might take me another try, even. The only gotcha that I've like been really into was uh. Dragalia Lost, which is the Psy Games, you know, gotcha that Nintendo published. Um, and then Nintendo, uh, it shut down, like, uh, what, one and a half, one and a half-ish years ago now, maybe? Which is tragic. <laughs> Just for, okay, glad you, glad you cleared that up, OG. I mean, there's not really a great place to shoot these from. Over here, I mean, I, I, I'll, I'll get ab absolutely stomped on, but it's fine. Mario might be more likely to get stomped on. I can if I really wanted to. Wait, but exhaust this guy. I won't. He'll be fine. Oh, get his ass, Mario. Me and Aruru. Oh, oh my God! Oh, Mario's gonna get. Ah, oh, hell no, nah. hell no! Nah. Uh, the Mario Massacre had started. Hell no! Nah. No! 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 Did I bring Rosalina? I didn't. So we can't even Anui this to keep it in check. God damn! I'm just getting. Used to play uh, Princess Connect. Crunchyroll pulled the plug just by having millions of players. Ah, uh, you know how that is. Yeah, uh, I don't. I don't really know why that kind of stuff happens. Really. Yeah. 
Bazinga. Um, let me see. And get you guys Bazinga. Um, I can't attack. None of us, none of us can attack, I don't think, right now, which is really bad. Um, do any of us have... Okay. This is kind of a, a, a gambit. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but let me try. Uh, I should probably heal. I could use healing items. I almost never use items, but I prefer to not if I can help it. Um, hopefully this will this will kill them all. So far, it barely hit any of them. It it killed two of them, but it could have it could have done so much better. That was that was lame. I I feel like I got ripped off. That's fine. Um. Dang, I, I can dash this guy, just it's not gonna kill. Is fate. I mean, you know, I haven't played fate. I know very little about fate, but I, it's probably ballin'. Um, I'll activate this and hope that he triggers it. Uh, E. Yeah, I don't, I don't like I don't like it. It's fine. Bl blindfolded? Oh, okay. Oh, stupid idiot. Can't aim for shit. Oh, this guy's gonna come in and ruin my day, probably. Oh, no, we're chilling. Per usual. Big chiller here. Bing chilling. Um, oh, dude, all the way at the front? I forgot. I, God damn it. I've, I've not been doing this, like, fight very well. I complained, like, not too long ago about having a hard time with this shit, but but now I'm just, I'm fucking it up. I don't like the way the goop covers our guys' faces. It, it looks genuinely, um, uncomfortable. Okay, how do I get in here without getting absolutely shit on? Um, I don't know. I'll do, I'll do my best. Well, I'm here. Um, I'm, I'm not really safe. I, I didn't even... I want the stupid eye all the way over there. I don't even want to be here. All right, well, this is... It's fine, whatever. Hopefully this crits. It probably won't. Maybe. Oh, it did. Look at that. Did, 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 I, did it kill? Yay. All right, well, I'm not dead dead at least. Can't get that guy. Because of course I can't. Game fucking hates me. Yo, what's going on, Susuke? Be, be in and out chat, doing chores, cooking, while listening. I understand, you know. It is what it is, as they say. Can I get that eye now? Okay, chill. Chill's hell. Uh, and I can do nothing else. All right. They made a DLC for this game that replaced guns for realistic guns. They'd get so much money. I, you know, I 99 cents. I'm, I, I'd pay for it for a little model swap. It is, it is really funny because the, uh, the deaths are I, uh, far from graphic. They're not graphic, but it's really funny when the enemies just fucking disintegrate. Yeah, dude, I, this this fight's hard. I'm, I'm having tr problems. Decent fun when you felt like you were actually making progress. Yeah, it got, you know, gotchas uh, tend to have that problem. All right, how can I... I'm pretty sure I die... Well, I not die, but I, I get... Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a crit, too. D too much damage. What the fuck? Let me live. All right. Uh, get Rabbit Luigi out of here. Preferably, I'd like to get Rabbit Luigi all the way down there. 
Uh, if I do get them all the way down there, I mean, that's great and all, except I... Ugh. It's just, it's just not looking great. Um... Ah, dang, I should get, I should get Mario back. Okay, hold on. Hold on, Mario. Just, just do a little, little slight team jump, just get you over here. Ballin', but ball, ball. Okay, because I need you for, like, healing and shit, alright? How your games are have generous drop rates compared to some of, of the other games. That's one of the cool things about Dragalia. Is that... Um... <laughs> I'm par maybe partially because it didn't have that many players. They gave out, um... Like, summons like candy. Uh, it was It was crazy. And obviously, I super appreciated it, um, but not all good things are, are meant to last, or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, pity's always nice. It actually took Dragalia, like, kind of a long time, like, most of its life, I think, before it, it figured out, like, oh, uh, we should put in a pity system. And they nerfed how many summons you could get, like, in a month, um, in favor of it, though. But it was still it was still pretty generous overall. Uh, events would give out like one bazillion summons. It's, it's, I, I miss it. There's not a good place for me to be right now. I mean, everyone fucking dies. Uh, okay. I should have maybe I should have brought rabid Mario along after all just to deal with like these guys like I don't know um I'm scared of what they might be able to do I'll go ahead and weaken I don't know if I need to weaken but I will just in case you never know get his ass Mario Get Mario, get his ass. Ah, uh, get his ass, Mario. Oh, Mario. Mario's got his ass got got. Oh, get his ass, Mario. Why Why did I get zero damage? What happened there? Or did, maybe I misread it. Do, do I have protection? What's happening? I mean, I know I weakened them, but that doesn't make them do no damage, I, I don't think. Oh, that's really good positioning. Okay, never mind. It's a little less optimal positioning, but I can make, I can make use of it. I still can't attack. Fuck off. I hate this shit. Come on. I mean, Mario... Mario can get some of them. But it's not enough. <laughs> I typically uh, am able to wait for, like, a banner that I really want someone on. Even then, I, you know, and I feel a little bad for it sometimes, uh, but a lot of the times I am one of the kinds of people who will, um, save up for meta stuff over, like, you know, uh, characters that I just like. Because, you know, I feel like I get more, uh, it's, uh, you know, yeah, I mean, uh, hopefully, uh, optimally, meta characters are, are people that I do like, of course. Um, but, but yeah. I just, you know, it, for, for more progress in the game, it's worth it. I'll do a little yippee over here just for a little extra cover. Also, the, the healing is nice. A Saul Goodman theme would be a good word. Like the brown, brown, bam, and now, brown, 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 brown. That, that. I've never watched Breaking Bad or Saul Goodman, or better call Saul. Um, I've said it before. I kind of don't at this point, just like out of spite a little bit. Like, ah. Uh, not, maybe the stubbornness, maybe. It's like, nah, I don't need to watch that. People say it's good, it probably is good, but like, puh. Who needs it, you know? Ah, uh, you, you get to, you get to, you, you have the balance between 
strong and useful. I mean, strong and and uh, the likable. Or wow, right? Okay, ba 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 da ba ba da da meow ba 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 da. Yeah, I mean, ba 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 ba. Fuck, I I want a ba 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 da, but your your transcription says ba ba da da. Wow, ba ba da da meow da na na. Wow, right? Okay, I got you. All right. Get his ass, Mario. Oh my god. Alright, one of them hit. That's uh that's good enough. I mean, it's a it's supposedly it's a really good show, and I am sure honestly that it probably is actually a really good show. I just I I just I and I've said it before, but in the similar vein to where like JoJo at one point was, you know, everyone fucking talked about it and you couldn't go like five feet without hearing something about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, at least that was my experience, it made me not want to watch it. Uh, I don't have that problem anymore, I just haven't gotten around to it at this point. But now it's now it's like the similar deal with fucking breaking bad. Okay, I, that might be the rest of them. Potentially. Can I get them all? I don't... How many... How much can I chain? Uh, I can almost get them all, actually. It's, it's too bad these barrels are here. Actually, if I just got rid of the barrels... Okay, now, now, I'm just, I'm just gonna look at that. I knew you were worth bringing on this one. Taco Tuesday. T -ta -taco Tuesday. So true. Wow, that's only like the halfway point for this chapter, dude. They made Mario so gangster. Look at that. Dude. Goes so hard. The mo the most OG pose I've ever seen. Insane. Oh, it doesn't actually screenshot at this at this size. That's sad. Friend of yours had what's going on, Healy Trope? I didn't see you. Um had that attitude too towards the Harry Potter books. Guess it turned out to be a good thing though. I I tried reading Harry like uh, Harry Potter at one point, but I at the time I tried reading it I um my attention couldn't be held by a book very well, like I could read the words on the page and everything, but like I just I did, I did not care about it. And then yeah, I mean I I never ended up getting through. I've never been too big of a book person though. Oh whoa, Wiggler Train goes hard. Look at that. Avid Harry hater. I, yeah, I mean, I understand. I do... I mean, at this point... You know, with all the JK Rowling business and her being kind of stinky poo-poo doo-doo. Um, you know, there's there's a, an external reason to hate it, I guess. Instead of, like, uh, you know, for, for the actual content itself. I will say, like, every time... I, I, I've seen the movies because, you know, I've seen them one bazillion times because I've had people that really like the movies and everything. Um, but every time I've seen the movies, even though I've watched each one like multiple times, it always feels like I'm watching it for the first time again because so, like I feel like I, I almost never like pay enough attention to remember what's going on and like remember all the world building and shit. I haven't seen one in a while, though. Thank you for cruel desire. Uh, by the way, the gist between uh, the, the the whole characterization of this guy is that he's a train conductor. I think he's a little French, maybe, and he likes our robot assistant. Stay on track. All right. Y yippee! Oh, oopsies. 
it, the, the sometimes it's it's hard to like you know uh, you know like separate the author and stuff like yeah. i you know because i that sentiment I, I do get by the same time it does work only if they are like dead you know <laughs> you agree with the conductor uh and not like receiving support from you know because like if you uh, s watch the media or whatever uh and you you pay for it to to watch it or whatever or read it then then you know that's like supporting this potentially really bad person so that's one thing uh of, you know if you if you feel like pirating it though which uh you know of course i would never condone um then i mean that's another thing you're allowed to like whatever you like in in that case probably Not that, I, I mean, you get me. Uh, I, uh. Speed, donuts. Speed donuts, that's what I'm saying. Uh, where's this? I mean, this clearly brings me down there, but, like, why? I mean, I, I guess just shortcut. Yarg! Darby treasure. Uh, I could go in there. Actually, hold on, give me one sec. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really quick. I will be right back, though. If buying isn't owning, piracy isn't stealing. Oh my God! Get this man an award. All right, hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking uh, uh, what am I saying? Uh, bathroom, right?
uh, sorry, that break was a bit longer than I intended. Um, I did get a Rice Krispie treat, though. Oh. Mmm. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. Rice Krispie treat. Um, rice Krispie treat yummy. Mmm, yum, yum. So good. <laughs> yeah, um, mm. Rice Krispie treats are baller as hell. I mean, I feel a little bad every time I eat them, because surely they're killing me inside. But, God, you know, if they aren't good. What can I say? Ah, 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 ah. Oh, yeah. Level 25, dang. I'm not level 25, dude. I'm underleveled for this shit a little bit. I guess that's fine. I was just complaining earlier about the difficulty of the game. Ah. Mm. Woof, woof. Oh, I can't go that way. Okay, never mind. God damn. I'm on quiet. It's right, Crit Retreat. It's so balling. Boom. Oh, yeah. Man, I, I only have like a couple bites left. <laughs> oh, I love Rice Krispie Treats. That way. Oh, oh my god. Oh, hold on. Oh, 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 oh my god. Wonderful. And out about it. Do you have anything cool? No. Oh, you know, um what what that do for me? Oh, it got me to the other side. Um So Netflix has like that live action avatar thing they're working on. Like a, a full trailer for that released relatively recently. Um, I'm hoping it's it's kind of good. Uh, the trailer looks all right. So to me, it, it, it has that like the same kind of look that live action One Piece did and like the the way that it very much feels kind of like more like a set than like a, a, a real place, you know, more like a movie than than something that's like actually happening, which of course it's a movie. But you, you get what I mean. It has like a, a bit of a weird look to it. Um... But, you know, it looks better than the other movie. <laughs> than the, than the, than the, sh sh I always f I trip up how you say his name. Sh Shyamalan movie. It was the dot of the eye on the PNBRB screen. Uh, it is, um, I believe it's, it's cat food. Or maybe it's a litter box. I, you know, I've never actually looked at it too hard before. Um, Citrus made it. If it, it's either a bowl of food or a litter box. It's like full to the brim with litter. No Lord of the Rings. Do mm -hmm. what, what, what do you mean, no Lord of the Rings? Well, this should do. Oh, my God. Exactly what I thought it would. Mmm, yeah. Rice Krispie Treat. Some cat food is depressingly dull looking, I will say. Oh, didn't check quality. Okay, right, right. It is no Lord of the Rings, right. Oh, yeah. That's not look bad. But, I mean, it is very green screeny for one, I think. And then, it's really less the sets and the backgrounds and more, like, the the lighting, I think. The, the lighting is, like, it's too bright, almost. Like, everywhere. It's, it's just kind of weird. 
Um, but I really like Avatars, obviously, you know, so I, so I do hope it is, it is good. Good enough to, you know, walk away from being like, eh, you know, that's decent. I still assert that I think the Mario movie is kind of a bit of a disappointment for me. Uh, a lot of people really fucking like it, and I kind of feel like a bit of a lame, like, you know, a person that's being a bit of a, a negative person just, just to be negative, but... What does this even do? Oh, it gets that one all the way over there. Um. So what? What? What am I doing here? Can I even do this yet? I mean, you'd think so, right? All right. Well, good stuff. Um. I. I mean, I gotta proceed through. Oh. Gaming. Um, but yo, what's going on, good cat? Yeah, I don't know. The Mario movie, it just I did not like it as much as a lot of other people did. It wasn't bad. I mean, it's a movie about Mario. I don't I don't know what I wanted instead. I think that it would have been cool to see a bit more like a wider variety of Mario characters on one hand. Um, but like I get also why they didn't do that, because like you know, a, uh, a lot of critics that didn't like the Mario movie because they probably don't know a whole lot about Mario. So it's like they went into the movie already like, you know, what the fuck is going on? Why is this happening? Um, so if they put even more variety, they probably, it, similar issues would probably occur. You know, like, what what the fuck? You know, who is this? What's happening? Um, so I, I don't know. I'll, I don't know what I could have wanted from a Mario movie. I mean, I, it's it's not like I was expecting grade A cinema. But, I mean, uh, little things like, you know, Luigi's development or whatever. And, like, the resolution to Mario's parents being like, you're a disappointment, Mario. You know, I mean, they could have at least been done better. But it's the, a fucking Mario movie. I mean, I don't know. Uh... I, I don't want to sound stuck up over a Mario movie. This is not the hill I'll die on. But it, it wasn't it wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It, it just it could have been more, I think. They want to be a bit safe after the 90s ver well, yeah, the Mario's version was like that was that was wrong for so many different reasons. So <laughs> stuck between wanting things to be good and bad because it's funny to watch people rip into. I, I would pr probably I know what you mean. If I had to choose, probably I would choose um, good most of the time. B bad, so bad that it's good. Well, that's the thing is that uh, so bad that it's good is rarer than something that's just regular good. I would probably. What level are my guys? I still have one last bite of Rice Krispie. Oh my god. Mm, um, yummy. Yeah. Why am I talking to you? I don't care about you. That's the thing, is that, like, I thought the Mario movie was fun, too. But a lot of times when people say, like, you know, oh, it, it, that the movie was fun, that's not a bad statement. But it's, it's like, a very, like, you know, I mean, it's... It, is is fun, you know. It's not like oh yeah, it was so much fun. It's like I, you know, it was. It is fun, you know. It's like a reserved kind of like I, you know, it it wasn't bad, but it, it's it's not gonna be something that I'm gonna you know go back to anytime in the in the future. That's kind of the vibes I get from. A lot of times when people say, like, oh, man, that was, a, what a fun movie. Not always. Sometimes, sometimes it does, it's just because the movie actually is fun and also good. Um, you know, maybe I'm misconstruing. But, like, if I say a movie is, is fun and nothing else, that's kind of what I mean a lot of the time. Chris Pratt, Charlie Day, Black Jack, Seth Rogen, yeah, dude. Seth Rogen, Donkey Kong. That's another thing. I'm not... 
uh with with Seth Rogen, Donkey Kong. Um his voice is fine. Uh, Donkey Kong in the movie. It, it doesn't really have that much to do with Seth Rogen. Um oh, this is weird. Okay, hold on. I got this. Wait, what's what's happening here? Do I have to do like prep time for this? Okay. So there's that. Speed donuts. Speed donuts. Um. How do I get up there? Over that? Oh, through the pipe, right? Okay. A uh, uh, duh. And then what's what's over here? Probably just some coins. Okay. This is this is fine for now. Let's go ahead. Um. What am I talking about? Oh yeah, just Donkey Kong in that movie. Also, like I don't need Grade A Donkey Kong development. Just point though. I don't know. Again, I, I don't. God damn it! I'm I'm stupid. I want to be too stuck up about the fucking Mario movie Donkey Kong development. So, you know. What? Oh my god! It resets the the purple bridge. Okay, I, that's why I fucked up two times in a row. I think it's too late for me now. Okay, I see. I didn't I didn't realize. Uh, Godzilla minus one. Oh, right. Yeah, I get you. I will, I will consider Godzilla minus one. He is Garfield. I don't know why Chris Pat is Garfield. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> there's, there's one really stupid video I've seen, you know, because in the trailer, Chris Pratt is Garfield. is like, bury me in cheese, John. Um, and in someone edited it to where instead of cheese... You know, like, a, some robot voices, elephant green screen effect, and then... I don't know, elephant green screen effect happens, and a bunch of elephants stampede on screen and make the elephant... Yeah. ...noise, you know? What, what happened? Oh, dude, what my... Up? I fucked up because my monitor went blank. What the fuck? Well, god damn it, I was right at the end. That's annoying. Well, I have to redo that shit now. Gosh... Dang, all right. Oh, yeah. Yippee. Over here, you already know. Over here, you already know. Uh, I got that shit. Shlabooby. Come on, come on. Get in there. Gaming, easiest shit of my life, literally first try. Writing, I, I would like to, I suppose, write something someday, but like, I, I, I would have to research a lot about like how to, you know, write good stories, because, <laughs> you know, um, I'm not even that good at like critiquing character development and like, you know, uh, what makes for a good plot and stuff, let alone writing it. I would be hopeless, but it sounds it sounds fun to do on paper. So what's the oh okay, hold on. I gotta do this, I think. To yeah, get rid of this shit. Okay. Not too good at it, you don't think, but you like getting your ideas down. Yeah. I really need to do that with more hobbies, like where I, I might not be good at it, but I'm doing it anyways, just because I, I want to be good at it eventually, or even just for fun. Cause uh, there's just too many times where I have not pursued something further just cause it's like, oh man, it's, you know, uh, I, I'm not any good and I won't be any good for a long time, you know? But I mean, I the, probably there are a lot of things that by now I would be decent at if, you know, I, I kept up with those things, even as just a small hobby, um, at the onset. Uh, oh, scent. Set. Plot equals goals, stakes, urgency. Mmm, steak. I fucking love steak, dude. I would, I would kill for steak. I would not kill for steak. But I, it sure sounds yummy. 
Um, I could... Yeah, I knew we might be alright. This is, like, my bread and butter team, like, my default. I should switch it around some, I feel like. Um, but dang, it's just so useful. Can't do any worse than the people currently running Disney. The hacks! Well, I don't want to say I couldn't. Um, but, you know, there is something to be said about, uh... You know, uh, the state of Disney, for sure. What am I doing? I think I want some windy guys. Yeah, all right. Sounds good. Um, any other windy guys? What does this shit do again? Regenerate some HP. Okay. Uh, here we go! Yippee. Get out of here. Dude, can I kill them with barrels? I mean, everyone thinks so, right? Yeah, no, it doesn't look like it. What, how, what edge do I throw them off of? Oh, I guess there's one right there, a ledge. Okay. Uh, Wow, there's a lot of Goombas here. This, this kind of sucks, actually. Uh, that's fine. Don't even worry about... Forget about it! I could attract a bunch of Goombas in one area if I so desired. No, I don't want a team jump. Just let me get get down. Okay, I'll set up for that. Uh, they'll start start coming my way. Yippee! Uh, okay. The, dang, this might leave me out in the open. It'll be it'll be fine. Are there any, like, other enemies, or are they all just fucking Goombas? I feel like I saw one non-Goomba. Okay, there's two non-Goombas. These sniper guys? I mean, they kind of suck, but... Uh, I could probably blow them away, at the very least. Yeah, I'll do I can try it. So true, Mario. Wow, and he's out of here, dude. I mean, he's still alive, but he's out of here. Uh, always want to be a writer. Oh, you know, to try it out if you ever can, I guess. Uh, you It's pretty easy to publish your book places, actually, like digitally and whatever, and have it sold like an online, you know, digital marketplaces. Uh... Which is not always as cool, admittedly, but, uh, you can. I didn't even, I didn't even realize I could, I could bounce him down like that. That's crazy. Alright, whatever. Get his ass, Mario. Oh, incinerated. Oh, there's another guy over there I didn't even realize. I want some pizza with, like, fucking goat cheese on it and shit. I do, you know, I will say, just because you're mentioning tropes and, like, one of, like, anime is, you know, shonen particularly, of course, is, like, the protagonist who, you know, absolutely is just, like, naturally gifted, but the, the show will, like, insist that it's, like, oh, it's their, it's their hard work, you know, but it doesn't really feel like hard work, it just, it just kind of feels like, you know, a plot BS, um... And I feel a little bit, uh, a little bad about it in a way, but like fucking Boruto, you know, like I, I have never had interest in Boruto and I still don't really, but I did see some shit, um, like recently, uh, and it's like, wow, look at Boruto, he has all these fucking, uh, uh, yeah, different techniques and he's so strong now he's even stronger than naruto maybe Ugh, you know whatever all this all this shit that like he now he's all super strong because he's protagonist and you know i'm not gonna lie 
a little bit on paper that kind of makes me want to watch it because it's like he, I want to see what he can do <laughs> and it's I feel I feel like I'm a, a baby a little bit a, a three-year-old for um, wanting to watch it for that reason but it you know I, a little bit I, I do um yeah no Naruto Naruto does do something like that, pretty much. Uh, people will insist that it's like, oh, the, the the moral of Naruto is in, you know, hard work, Trump skill. And it's, like, it's not because that's not what the show seems to represent, you know, it seems to stand for, I suppose. But, like, I feel like there's multiple times where they do insist that that is the case. Um... That, you know, hard work beats talent. But in short, yes, Naruto is absolutely about that. It, I guess my uh, spoilers for, like, all of regular Naruto, I guess, if, if you, you really are worried about it. But, uh, with Naruto, you know, he, like, sucks. You know, he's awful as a ninja. Um, as a shinobi, you know, uh, just god-awful, the worst. He, he can't do shit. And then in episode one, he, he learns this, like, forbidden technique, even though he couldn't do the easier version of the technique for some reason. But he, he can master the forbidden one, you know, easy as shit. Um, and anyways, it, it turns out that, like, oh, he's so bad at, at stuff because he he has this big beast inside him. And then, it, but then, the you know, the, the nine tails, as it were, um is the reason uh he ends up being the reason that naruto is able to like dominate like later in the series right um and they also say things like oh naruto has problems because with uh, chakra control or whatever because because of the guy inside him and so at some point one of the characters is like oh, okay let me just like help you with that let me undo your monster seal a little bit and then naruto's like wow i now have greater chakra control conveniently um so you know that's cool I guess. Um, and then it also turns out that his mom, it has like, comes from some clan that has one bazillion chakra in their bodies, you know, and that's why he can do so many things that other people can't, because he's just, he just has so much of that shit. And then it turns out his dad is like the most talented ninja to live ever. Um, and I, I took kind of a long time to get to the point, but the, I think you, you get what I'm, I'm getting at, is that, yes, it turns out that he has quite a lot going for him from the onset. The viewer just doesn't know that immediately. Ah, sorry, Citrus. Hey, no, I mean, I, you know, um, I, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry that I do not stream at times better for you. Um, <laughs> uh, evidently, I would like you to catch whatever streams that you would like to catch, but I'm, I'm happy to have you here now. Uh, we probably have at least another hour for, in this game, I feel like. Um, in this stream, I mean. But welcome, welcome in, Citrus. Jujutsu Kaisen, just because we're talking about, like, Naruto and whatever, and, like, how the, you know, uh, Naruto is actually secretly super gifted. Jujutsu Kaisen kind of does something slightly different, where, uh, admittedly, the main character is actually talented, but he d he can't actually, like, he doesn't have any any skills, like, latent to him that that make him better than anyone else. Uh, he, he is, like, a fast learner, which counts for something. He is also, like, actually superhuman strong so that is something going for him actually uh he has like crazy superhuman strength uh you know to uh, to give him like a, a an easier springboard or to give him something to springboard off of i guess at the beginning of the story to catch up with like other people you know it's like well he lacks in skill he makes up for and like just being able to move a fucking i don't know the boulder and punch through walls and stuff so he does he does actually have that going for him uh that becomes very relevant very quick though and there are so many times in that series where and not just him but so many other characters where they're like uh internally monologuing and they're like i can win i can do this and then like you know the the next episode or the next page or whatever immediately like shows them not not winning and not doing it 
uh, that that happens quite a bit. <laughs> so, you know, uh, it, it, I, it's not a reversal uh, necessarily of regular shonen tropes. I, I wouldn't say that, but uh, they tone it down a little bit better. I, I feel like I end up rambling so much when I talk about this stuff, like, and I start not making sense. I kind of lose, like, I get lost in my own sauce a little bit. Nah, I win dead. Right. Uh, yes. Because JJK is ongoing, I, I won't elaborate on that specifically, but, but yes, exactly. You watch season one, going to start season two soon. Yeah, season two is, I believe, done now. Am I supposed to plug all of these up, or am I supposed to strategically plug up just some of them? You know, I've, I've talked about JJK quite a lot. Uh, so, uh, not, not in this stream, but just in general. So, apologies for that. Um... But I do, I am quite interested in the series in general. How do I, I mean, can I drop it over the ledge? Is that what it wants for me? No? How, how do I get over there? What happened? How, how do I get it down from here? Well, I have to, okay, hold on. So let me, let me drop this and go over here. And then I, and then I wonk this over, and I go up here, and I put this here. And does this have a bridge? Like, how, how do I get to this? I'm confused. I don't know. Okay, anyways. You don't think you'll ever watch it, but you hardly stick with the stuff you are more interested in? I wasn't gonna watch it originally. I don't know what made me end up watching it. I maybe just on a whim, uh, but it was a lot better than I, I did expect it to be at first. Yeah, put off eighty six season two for a while now, despite loving season one. I, I don't know what eighty six is. I don't think. Nah, uh, do I have to? All right, mildly annoying, but I got you. I assume this shows that it plugs it up. Yeah. Game design. Alright, so I gotta push the box off. Your greatest sadness is seeing One Punch Man go from a parody of a superhero genre to devolving into a generic battle manga. I still like it, but I will say that the webcomic... In my opinion, I prefer the webcomic to the manga. Uh, and the anime is based off the manga also. I think it's cool to have, have cool fights and stuff. I don't, I don't mind the fights and uh, I, I actually like the manga all right. And even the webcomic and all that stuff where it is right now. I totally get what you mean though. Um, uh, should I have not done that? Well, how was I supposed to know I'm not supposed to break that? Or no, I guess I had to, because I had to get over here. Okay, don't worry about it. Um. Alright, I gotta move you up there. But, yeah, the, the thing about the manga is that it, it's trying to set up more, like, plot developments and stuff. Um, in, as opposed to the webcomic. They are trying to do more with it. Um, you know, they're trying to put more, like, foreshadowing and setups and things, and I don't think they really need that. Um, lots of, they try and explain, like, why, you know, the main character is so strong a bit more. And the, the, the webcomic does that a little bit, but the, the manga leans way, much harder into it, and it's kind of lame. Um, in my opinion, I don't like it very much. I, I like him just being an insurmountable threat for no reason, just because he is. Uh, and not because of some, like... Not, you know, not because there's a reason behind it. Even in the manga, to be fair, I'm, I'm saying that they're, like, contextualizing his power. But even then, they're, they're not, like, giving any super crazy re reason. It still often boils down to just, uh, he, he be strong. 
Um, but, but yeah, uh, in the webcomic, they make his strength a lot more comical and a lot more, like, undefeatable, whereas in the, in the manga, I feel like they, they try harder to, you know, raise stakes and make it feel like he'll ever, you know, like, like he's going to have to fight a big threat one day or something. And uh, if he ever, like, I, I hope that's not the case, but in the webcomic or the manga, if, if he ever gets a fight that is quote-unquote satisfying for him, uh, I, I would really hate that. I don't think that the writer one would do that. He wrapped up Mob Psycho really well. I feel like he knows, you know, not to do that, but I, I think it would, like, defeat the entire purpose of, like, everything if he did. I'm glad you're learning to express abstract ideas, but we're in no mood for more metaphors right now. Um, A6 is a pseudo-war anime manga that you love, uh, because it just focuses on actual people rather than stereotypes and stuff. Ah, okay. Looney Tune Strong. Yeah, yeah. There's also, dude, anime, com the anime community, like, the online one, is really weird, because they, like... Uh, and, and not in the way that you're thinking of right now, like, just them being weird and gen- I mean, like, it's just- There's, like, a big obsession. So, I- I was saying, like, earlier, of course, um, you know, how I- I was kind of surprised that, um, P you know, PS4 versus, like, Xbox One- or, or, you know, I have PlayStation versus Xbox, not those consoles specifically. Um, wars were still, like, a thing. Uh, but they are. And it's a very similar, like, vibe in a lot of, like, anime circles online or whatever, where there's, like, this whole, you know, Dragon Ball versus One Piece versus, you know, whatever. And there's this whole thing about, like, quote-unquote breaking the internet where like i you know i uh when goku ultra instinct first first like uh was shown or whatever i think like twitter broke for a bit or, or and twitter and maybe other places broke for a bit and so now it, it's like this weird term where they're like this moment in one piece manga is gonna break the internet when it's animated and it's so it's so weird it, it's it's strange um, I, and I, I don't know. It's, it's just, I don't know how to explain it any better. It's just, it's, it's just people are really don't like it. It, it feels like all the time, if you like something that they don't like, you know, they, they feel a visceral need to like shit on everything else because they feel like, I, I feel like they feel if they don't shit on it, it means that they're like submitting that, that this series is just as good or better than this other series that they like more. Uh, and so, it, it, there's just, like, it, it's it's just weird. So much d defense. Gaming. Anyways, I feel like I, I talked a lot there. I don't know if you got the, the gist I was going for, but... Oh yeah, that is another thing is that, and this is probably obvious, but, but yeah, no, um, they're really into like power scaling, you know, it's like, oh, uh, you know, of course the obvious one is like, they can't beat Goku, right? But, uh, they do that all the time where it's like, they, they prove their series is better by saying their protagonist is stronger, like as if it has any relevance, like, you know, oh, you, Goku can beat Luffy. Luffy's not beating Goku. It's like, I don't care if Luffy's beating Goku. It, that, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if... <laughs> I, I, there's no... This is a pointless... Um, it, you know, it, it's just... It, it's all relative to their own series. There's no reason to cross the beams. It doesn't do anything. I, like, I get that in, in theory it's cool and stuff. I, I I feel it, you know? Oh, man, I like I like strong characters. But it just, it's a little ridiculous at the same time, you know? So, what am I doing, by the way? Uh, they said... 
Oh, okay, so I, I can throw these at these, right? Okay. What What's the dam I'm trying to blow up right now, even? I, I didn't really look. Okay, okay all right, that, that works. I see. Okay, well, the, the dam is in, you know, a dam that holds water. Uh, makes sense. Makes sense to me. Did I fuck up? Does that spawn more in a second? Probably. Ow. Clearly, the most important question is if they will break the internet harder than Steve Minecraft. Yeah, no, uh, Adam and Evelyn on top, actually. Should probably heal. It feels like a waste because only one of our characters needs it, but oh well. I probably shouldn't be moving you to the front lines. Hold on. I, I kind of wasted a turn there a little bit or a move, but. Mario! What's that? Gaming. Woohoo! Woohoo! Hmm, hmm. Also, there's another thing where, like, to an extent, you know, um, it's, it's like pointless. Um, oh. You almost prefer the more grounded, weaker scaling anime sometimes because it keeps things more entertaining almost. No, I get you, yeah. It's like, I, I mean, with Dragon Ball Z, it's very, like, um, obvious, you know, like, oh man, you know, this enemy is super strong, and, you know, it's, it's obvious that Goku's gonna need some new crazy form or technique to deal with this one, and, you know, of course, it, it dumbs down any, like, creative solutions to, to the fights, because it just boils down to, you know, even if there's a different explanation for it, visually, it's just punching harder and better. I don't mind stuff like that though necessarily. I uh I think it can be fun. Oh my god, dude. I Rosalina's getting shit on. I might have to redo this stage if I'm not careful. Okay, that's it. Can you please why are there so many enemies here? God damn it. Fuck you. Okay. At least I know what the goal is now. I, I fucked up, but uh, it's fine. I, I understand now. We just got those three the, those three points that you gotta blow up. But... Alright, maybe... Switch out Rabid Rosalina for someone more tanky. Which would be... Uh... Bowser, uh, well, Rabbit Mario can physically take more hits, but uh, Peach can help protect better. Punching harder and better can be entertaining in a world where strength is determined in, in another way, like magic. Yeah, no, we got we got Bowser last stream at the end. Yeah, no, I get what you mean, um, Bochi. Oh, dang. I, fuck, I forgot to... I haven't used Bowser too much. He's he's cool, but... Um, he doesn't... His, his, like, secondary skill tends to feel less useful, I feel like, than uh, other characters a lot of the time. Magic systems are very difficult to write. Let me see. What, what am I trying to do? So, probably get some Gust stuff. Maybe I should put Gust on Mario. Mario! And this does... That does shockwaves. This does weapon-based Gust attacks. Um, yeah, I can give you shockwaves, sure. Alright, maybe this is fine now. Man, uh, god damn it. I almost feel like I should get Rabid Mario up in here. Uh, being able to move after attacking is very helpful, actually. Uh, it's fine. Let's get, uh... 
We should probably have Peach get over there. Fire alone some. Yay! So true, Peach. For real. Uh, yippee! Wow. Easiest shit of my life. Alright. Um. Man, I wish that me versus water guy was here to appreciate the water in this game. With only human characters? I'm pretty sure you probably can, uh, except for levels that literally require you to, to use, like, a rabid. Uh, which isn't any, I don't think, any mandatory ones. So, I, I think you can. <laughs> Let me see. You would have, so there's Peach, Luigi, and Mario, basically, is are the only, you know humans that we have it's not the best team necessarily because i mean healing is kind of cool to have um but it's it's serviceable he he oh yeah says the mario i could get peach down there if i really wanted to um I feel like I'm gonna find this was a mistake. I feel like that wolf is gonna try and fucking bite my head off. I can at least blow up some other stuff in in the meantime, I suppose. Like uh this. Alright. Uh if dang, if we could get Mario over there, we can't though. If we could, I mean that that'd be chill. Um, uh, uh, stupid wolf guy. I don't have anywhere good to hide. That wolf guy can hit me from there. That wolf guy can hit me from here. That wolf guy might be more apt to get Peach, though, so I should probably hide behind the barrier. Non-rabid characters. Well, there's Bowser also, I suppose. There's no normal Rosalina, although, uh, the main villain, Cursa, is actually just Rosalina. But, like, evil for some reason. Not willingly, but it, it, that's, you know, what's happening. Um, technically, the game hasn't told us that yet, but it's, it's, very, it's very obvious. Well, that's cool. I could use protection if I really wanted to. Um, nah, we're fine. So I don't know if before the end of the game we'll get, you know, to play, we'll get Rosalina on our team or if Rosalina is just there for post-game content or DLC, I don't, I don't know. In, uh, speaking of DLC, I think in one of the DLC waves for this game, just Rayman himself got added, which makes sense considering the Rabbids originated from Rayman, but it's still, it's still kind of weird to me. Man, Peach is gonna get fucked up, but it has to be done. Okay. Are you serious? I can't get just to there? Why not? Alright. I can get all the way over here, but I can't. Alright. It's fine. I think that's kind of stupid. But, uh, oh well. Dang, we can't actually make it very far anywhere right now. I have to use the, the tube, I guess, for today. I can't even use the fucking tube. All right, well, I'll blow this guy up, I guess. That's all I got. I'd really like to go over there and um, use my like protection, whatever. Let's get let's get Mario to tank.